of uh, offshore support ships and oil and gas support ships uh, are much larger, more powerful engines, more powerful thrusters. They have requirements to work in heavier sea states. So I, I characterize Nautilus as sort of a middle of the road kind of ship. Jump off the other side now. Tether limits. Crotch. Can't have your cake and eat it too. Yeah, now that we've done all these steps at 315. <laughs> yeah, let's do one at 030 and put it Atlanta in the danger zone right on the top. Roger. Bridge, this is now. Twenty meters at zero three zero, please. You come down a bit too, Paul. You got twenty meters under you. Yep. How much line do we have on our cable right now? I don't have the screen right in front of me. 7,300 change. On the uh, main cable? Yeah. Yeah, 7,300 meters. Five meters shorter than last cruise. Yeah, <laughs> tragically five meters shorter. I was able to go down and help um, Paul do a cable check. That was pretty cool. Yeah, the uh, the traction winch kind of blew my mind the first time I saw it. Yeah, that was a major upgrade. But uh, we used to have an old 421 Dynacon sitting on the deck. We uh, curved the back deck open and built a home for the traction winch in the belly. Impressive upgrade. Yes. Hopefully the next one. Oh, happy to. Active heap count. <laughs> it depends, usually uh, off to one side. Yeah. It's this one's pretty benign, and there's no uh, walls of death in the sonar there. So if, if we're on the cliff, it's a lot more challenging to keep it 20 meters off the cliff because the bathymetry for, uh, that we get with the multi-beam is, you know, depending on the depth, like each pixel's 25 meters, right? So you don't see the local bathymetry until we're down here. In the case of the ridge here, I think uh, having it on the top will allow us to jump down on both sides along the way there. Should I come over there, perhaps? You want to uh, zoom in there, Jeff, while we're waiting on the ship now? If I, can, uh, I can't hold it. Hold mm. Let me try again.
Okay. Good for a falls in there. Another Okole, Mele Mele. It's I think right. it's the funniest term also. Beautiful shot. An enemy. It's so cute. If an anemone made a sound, what would it be? <laughs> bleep, 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 bleep. Kotachi, I want to hear what you got. <laughs> if an anemone made a sound, what would it be? Actually, have a preference. It's one of the one of the ones in front of Paul. Good for another two zero at 045 this time. Uh, zero three zero again. Sorry. That's cool too. I I can enjoy that. Uh, two zero meters at zero four five. Zero three zero. Zero three zero. Sorry. Two zero uh, meters. In. In, this, yes. in this case, I'm picking uh, Atlanta's heading based on uh, what we're seeing on the sonar there. What's in there? What is in there? Um, well, our biologist is scurrying around trying to get his headphones back on. We were doing some musical Lonely? chairs back here. What uh? What's Lonely. in there? <laughs> hey, hold on. Just just a quick sec. He's still getting his headphones on. Anybody's guess? Let's uh, throw some ideas out there before Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> hungry, hungry caterpillar. Hungry, so. hungry caterpillar. That looks like it's, uh, hmm. If I had to venture, I guess that's part of the anemone. Like maybe there was, huh, I can't tell actually. It was, uh, looked like it was crawling around. It was yeah. moving. Someone, yeah. someone says a scale worm. Yeah, it could be a polynoid or a scale worm. So why doesn't the anemone have it for dinner? It should, it's getting close. Maybe it has to land on its tentacles there. for it to sense it to close. Yeah, maybe it's just uh, too light or too too sneaky. Doesn't taste good. No, no, no. Interesting. Sorry, I came off my, uh, thought I could move the vehicle slightly. But could someone correct. share a little bit about um, how we store the video footage? Um. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I laughed. <laughs> Jeff. I was just thinking of all the challenges Jeff has had with our video footage files. We record them to a couple of computers that think that they're video recorders made by Cinedec um, to their 10 terabyte drives, solid state drives in those machines. Uh, then afterwards we transfer those to a network attached storage computer with a whole bunch of hard drives. Come up a bit if you want, Paul. And uh, come what? what Dwight's referring to is come up we have a, a fairly yeah. lengthy process of running checksums and making sure that all the video files are truly there. And then we do some spot checks at the end and then do it all over. Awesome. Just because we don't want the tether on Thank the rocks. Um, and there are days when I miss just jamming tapes into a machine. So. I don't think that... Yeah, I was thinking it, it, it's just, just good to contrast where we just were with the other side. See if it's different, but um, not sure where the ship's taking you now. Trying to get uh, Atlanta back on the top of the ridge there so we can do both. Yeah. Another 20 at 030. Yeah. Bridge, this is not. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, it looks like the ridge uh, goes at 030, so it should. Kind of curb around. Two zero meters at zero three zero, please. For for highlights, also is um we have the data logger who usually captures images of the 
of the different organisms and different objects that we want to highlight. And then as an SEF, it is our job to also take video highlights of things that we believe are um, good that we can use on the class in the classrooms. Um, it can be used for curriculum. Um, we also um, want to be able to post it on our website and on our on our media platforms. So there, there's a kind of a number of different ways that we store the footage. There's yeah, there's there's storage locally here on the ship, which is the high definition video footage. Um, and you all have access to that so that you can do clips locally. If you've got a highlight, you can actually pull that off of the server. These are also being recorded on shore at a much reduced resolution mm. so that they can do highlights. Uh, I think we've created, what did I see, Dwight? Three or four little yeah. highlight packages. Yeah, yeah. Um, and a lot of times they do edit the footage that's recorded on shore, but lately because we've had more bandwidth to work with uh, we're sending some of the are we sending some of the high def back some of the raw files right back yeah or maybe not raw but the uh, proxies perhaps yeah probably the 264s yeah yeah if you want to get perfectly technical we, we actually record two streams one's h264 which are our proxy files that are fairly easy to get around fairly small and then we also record ProRes uh, which is the, the whole bandwidth HD video signal. But we have a requirement because we're f funded. Is your mic in front of your mouth? We have federal funding. We have a requirement to archive all this and make it accessible so one of the jobs on shore is to take the tapes that come off the Nautilus and uh, back them up yet again and check them for quality and um, make that data then available to uh, to the public eventually it takes a long it's a long process mm -hmm. but we're getting started um, and we have to document the metadata and all the details about the data that we collect, not just video, but everything. Yeah, we're, and, uh, we're recording, so in the, they can't see it at home, but basically the closed captioning, mm -hmm. we're using that information area, or that area where normally your closed captioning would be. We're storing uh, vehicle heading, vehicle depth, dive number, uh, ex the, the cruise number, there's some other stuff that help, it, yeah. Vehicle position, vehicle depth, vehicle heading. So we store all of that. So at any given time, you can pull up a clip and see where the vehicle was, how deep the vehicle was, all of that. So I completely lost the plot there. Thank okay, you. That's the way I want to go. <laughs> the other right. How many conductors? Are there in the six eight cable? Three conductors. Just Which like your this uh, is enough. extension cord in here. And what? Fine in your garage. Six fibers, five fibers. What's that? How many fibers? Two zero meters at uh, zero three zero. There's please. um four fibers that we terminate. The uh, the current slipping we have in the winch only has uh, three passes. That's right. I believe Nautilus is, um, the cruising speed is 10 knots. Unless George is driving. <laughs> <laughs> and it can go, the captain talks about it going to 12 knots easy. I, I believe George told me that he holds the land speed record or over ground record for Nautilus at 13 point something knots and he's going <laughs> to jump in here in a second and correct us all. Yeah, when we did uh, uh, sea trials on me after we put Little Thor in. I've been waiting to hear George's voice on SPL. I have yet. Maybe tonight will be the lucky night for us. <laughs> George also got to um, 
do full speed and then do an emergency stop, which was, was quite anticlimactic actually, but it's an impressive stop. How fast did you get up to? I think we doing 13 knots, 13 and change, and then uh, yeah, full reverse. Partial zoom on this glass sponge here. Sure. Looks like maybe another in the family Eureta day. I'm seeing a few of. They have this sort of flattened, oh, leafy yeah. structure to them. Also, the family that we collected that oh, sponge on our earlier watch today. It's potentially a new species in this group. As you can see, a pretty important habitat for all sorts of things on there. Squat lobsters, crinoids, brittle <coughs> stars. Hydroids. right into the hill here. What kind of view is this called when you kind of like surround the object and like, I don't want to call it, say pan around it, but. Pirouette. Pirouette. Yeah, that, was, that was the current, uh, just pushed her up against the rocks there. The Nautilus was made in 1967, yes? Yes. Could be good for a uh, pull zoom there if you want. Maybe on the pedal. Sure, yep. 55th year. And she's still trugging along and doing these amazing expeditions and looks mighty fine, if I if I might say. Yeah. The crew here does a great job at maintaining this vessel. I'm going to come up, zoom out a bit there. Looks great, thanks. See if I can get off. <laughs> see if I can get off the rocks here. Perch, this is Nav. Pinned. Two zero meters at zero one five, please. Just gonna keep Atalanta at the top of the ridge. Sure. Right. It's gonna drop down here under that ledge while we're waiting. When was Herc created, and uh, when was Hercules created, and um? When was the first time he streamed alive? Herc made its debut in the summer of 2003. And we did some projects in the Black Sea that year, I believe, in the Mediterranean Sea. It was a long expedition. We went from one place to the other to do some marine archaeology projects looking at um, shipwrecks and doing some partial shipwreck excavation work. So it was sort of custom built to do that sort of thing. And then was modified subsequently for doing sort of general science. 
but yeah. So almost 20 years in operation. That's what Jim said that the brows were originally made for so they could push up against the... Yeah, the original design had a sort of a uh, fan thruster on the brow that would, as you were excavating a shipwreck, you, you could keep the, the uh, silt away. And I'm not sure if that ever really worked, <laughs> worked well or at all, so it was sort of abandoned. Yeah, there's still some references to the, uh, it had a lot of more pumps on it. Yeah. Where we have the giant valves and the valve packs to run big pumps. Yep, yep, we did. We um, basically had a couple of slurp systems, two, uh, I think at one point, uh, wider diameter slurp nozzle for just moving sediment and uh, flushing it out up the tether and getting it out of the way of the place we were excavating. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I found one of the old nozzles ripped through the uh, all the stores and yep. all the old uh, stuff in San Pedro there. Yeah. And uh, one of the spares that was never used put it all together and showed it to Josh and he wasn't impressed because <laughs> <laughs> that's something we use nowadays. It's the super slurp. Yeah. Pretty remarkable density of these branching bamboo coils here. I think probably the highest density of branching bamboos we've seen this expedition has been on this dive. What are your guys' favorite things to slurp and catch? <laughs> scale worms. <laughs> lots and lots of scale worms. Paul probably wouldn't say glass sponge after this morning. Yeah. Well, grabbing it wasn't too bad. It was the, uh, just this even tiny drag force yeah, holding it in the jaw and moving the arm uh, would break it apart. Take another move, Katachi. Let's try uh, some 40 meter moves. Bridge, this is Nev. Two zero meters at zero three zero, please. We can make it four zero. Four zero meters. I'm getting excited for waypoint six. So we're gonna try to collect a rock. Yeah, I feel like we're not making very good progress. <laughs> well, I've been tugging on Atlanta most of the way. joystick game now. <laughs> <laughs> can't go I so can, far so fast. I can uh, take off auto heading and you can just tow it. No, that's <laughs> We are fully stretched out here though. Yeah, Raj. Zero delta again. <laughs> I'll come back down and drop down the little uh, clip here. Back in the box. April, would you like to address this um, question? Could we uh, stick some more ballast on Atalanta and just make it a little bit more responsive? We're, uh, we have talked about that. Yeah, I'll try my best to kind of answer this question. Um, in Hawaiian culture, everything within our natural world, um, there was a spiritual connection or significance to it. Um, for our animals, um, actually within our, I'm kidding you, 
within our um, creation story, the coral or the ko'a was the first thing to be born. Um, so for Native Hawaiian people, we kind of trace, some can trace their genealogy back to the very first coral polyp that arrived in, yeah, in our oceans. That's all I'm going to say. You can explain more if you want, Molinar. Yeah, and um, the question was, um, there was a viewer wondering um, what if there are any spiritual significance of the seafloor and the animals that reside there. And um, as Ipo was saying, our the creation of Hawaiian people started in the darkness, in the depths of the ocean with the first car polyp and the kumulipo or the creation chant that all of the ali'i or all of the royalty of Hawaii would learn and memorize. Uh, they can trace each organism after the other. And that's why we have um, aloha aina or love for the land because we all know that we come from the land. Yeah, like Malanai was mentioning earlier, um, everything in the mountains had kind of like a partner in the ocean. And yeah, this is kind of just the beginning of those relationships. How fast can the DP system go? It depends on the weather. But they can do uh, up to two knots optimally. Depends on the pilot too. Yeah. We have uh, we've asked for two knots on recovery before. Just mm. Toe and hurt because of the current. Yeah. They got almost to two. They were uh, you know, fighting the current as well, so. I wonder, um, Jeff, could you help us reconnect this to be the regular SCF computer? I'm gonna move over to the, to the back row again and um, fill in for where I can. I wanna put this back off. So if we wanted to, uh, I mean, to Atalanta faster, we could, not that we need to, but. Uh, the problem is if we go faster, we get a huge layback. Yeah. And then if we find something cool. Yeah. Then we have the swinging to deal with. Yeah. That's yep. Good. I've tried it. Heavier the uh, clump weight is, the less that layback is going to be, right? It seems to be significantly less with uh, Argus. Yeah. Bridge, this is Nav. Two zero meters at zero four five, please. Let's do uh, four zero. Oops. Four zero. Yeah. Yeah, make a little time here. This is kind of fun. I've entered another seat. I know. I think I'm going to just give um, Ipo a 
little rundown on what this computer does and how it works. And I'm just going to say it on SPL so everyone can know a little taste about what it takes to be on um, the SCF seat. So on this thing here that says C-Log, when you push um, highlight, there's these you, there's these ratings and usually there's like three is like cool four is like amazing and then five is like I need to immediately see this and it needs to be edited and we we'll want to post it to our website right away and then um, if you push on Hercules that'll be the Hercules view if you just want Argus that'll be just the Argus slash Atalanta view but if you want a view of both of the vessels of both of the both of the vehicles you push that one and then you're just gonna give a little um, explanation of what we're looking at like really cool sea an enemy or amazing close-up on whatever we're looking at so this could just be like a maybe if you want to write in a cool pan of bamboo coral and then what it does it, it records two minutes before and three minutes after you push the the highlight button So, folk, so the folks at home can see or hear a little bit about what we do here. Awesome. And then the comment section is back here where messages f filter in. And I'll be looking back and forth over. Sounds good. Thank you, Malanai. Thank you, Epo. We can um, make a bump the speed up to 0.3, I think. Sure, if he's what's he got dialed in there? Point two or point three? It bounces between point three and point one. Yeah, well, I'm just curious to what his uh, command speed is. Okay, now I need to figure out what my job is here. <laughs> Circle. Circling stuff. Circling it's the main stuff. role. Awesome. <laughs> the most important part of the gig. Copy that. Thank you. Let's try it. Are you on Let's the telestrator? What yeah. do you want to look at? I am the chalice trader. I get to choose what we're looking at. I remember I, I saw a comment recently about wanting to get a closer look at a trident looking bamboo coral. Circle one, then. We got a lot. Oh, wow. I have the power. <laughs> <laughs> you have to notify the pilots, though, that you're interested okay, in Okay, awesome. That. Can yeah, I get I a usually the circle's a clue for me. So. Close up <laughs> of this one, this car right there. To uh, push in a little bit there, Jeff. Come down as low as I can without mowing the rest of the tumbleweeds away. Is it a bamboo? I can't tell. Yes. Bamboo forest. Bamboo forest. This really is a bamboo forest. Really, really dense. Oh. Floating by is one of those. Oh, predatory. dandelion siphonophore. Hydrozoans. Oh, was it? Yeah, the little red ones. We've seen them on corals a few times today, sort of eating the polyps. Okay, I can push in a bit more there. Awesome. I like to use those uh, when I like practice flying. I'd like get one in frame and hold it, like moving with it, so we can zoom in. It's kind of like move and zoom practice. Ultra practicing. Back up a little bit here. Don't know I'm over. Yeah. Hello, Carl. That's good. That's good zoom on Thank this. You. I think we're we can move on. Right. Okay, let's try to find a good rock to sample. Okay. We're just about at waypoint six. A good rock would be something that we could dislodge from like an in situ position, but one that hadn't fallen too far from a little ledge or something like that. Katachi, are we on sample number 96? Yes, we are. Great, thanks. Yeah. 
Dwight, do you want another ship move to bring the vehicles right over waypoint six, or we can start looking now? Uh, I think we can start looking now. Um, what's your what's the current move? Um, we just finished it. Uh, we're about the vehicles are about forty meters away from waypoint yeah. six. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have time to kind of keep driving along like this. Yeah. Um, it would be good to get because the steeper side is now the west side, I think, as we move up the slope here. So we can work our way, Dan, however you think, to get to that other side eventually. I think the west side will be steeper. I think the east looks steeper. Um, yeah. The next waypoint is directly north. So Sorry, that's what I meant. I, s I said west, I meant east. I, yeah, I do that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> After all these years, still. Yeah. ROV west. Yeah. Right on the nav screen. Pretty dramatic shot in the Atalanta cam right now. Yeah. Can you highlight that? Sea uh, log? And then maybe you can choose both Herc and Argus. And then just, um, Ryan said that it was a great dramatic, this is actually a cool dramatic yeah. view of Atalanta looking at um, Herc there. That's gonna be a little bit better now without the athlete. Thanks, Paul. Teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, no, you can. Yeah, let's keep it moving. I'm way out in front, so. I got Bridge, okay. this is now. Oh. 40 meters at 045, please. We're looking for a rock for um, Val or Ben? Or for Val, yes. Mm. Cantaloupe shaped? Cantaloupe uh, size, but maybe not shaped. We'd rather have something kind of angular and blocky for Val. Angular and blocky for Val. I love seeing Val's face and her, her reactions whenever there's a rock that comes up and she's just like <laughs> looking at it like a child that just came out of a candy store, like, <laughs> look at this rock. It is really great. Amazing to see her describe the history of a rock from just taking a look at the outside of it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good on that rock saw, too. Got a huge primnoid octocoral here, or what looks like a primnoid. Primnoid octocoral. I have yet to see any of her rock slices, but I'm really excited for those. Oh, they're cool. They're very. Yeah, they're perfect. Shiny on the inside. So Makes quite shiny. a mess, though, doesn't it? <laughs> Good thing she has those goggles to wear. <laughs> it's splattering dirt. I got some uh, video of her today. Just, <laughs> just giving it on the rock saw. <laughs> Look at the size of the base on this yeah. coral. Really wide, right? Yeah. Really heavily calcified down at the bottom. And I feel like you can kind of see the size of it when you look at the Atalanta view. It's like yeah. the same, same width. Yeah. Yeah. Big. That, I think that's my favorite part about the Atalanta view is you can really gauge how huge some of these formations are. Yeah. It's really hard to imagine what they would look like standing in front of it. I mean, a, a coral the size of almost an SUV. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of uh, the lasers, could we have like a imprint of an average human? <laughs> That's like yeah. a, I think it's a better measuring a scale. stick. Yeah. <laughs> I see pictures of people holding like museum specimens of like giant paragorgids, like some of the ones we've been seeing on this expedition, and it's it's ridiculous. <laughs> it doesn't look real. It looks like some Dr. Seuss fairy tale stuff. Happy Hanukkah. Yeah, really candelabra looking. Oh, yeah.
coral there. I don't know what, I, what was, inspired Dr. Seuss, because I don't think it was uh, deep sea corals. Yeah. <laughs> but That's it's a probably super interesting looking coral candelabra, there. Candelabra, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Passover, not Hanukkah, <laughs> but... <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, relevant joke still. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, kind of ignorant. Ignorant. <laughs> no, no, it just happened to also be Passover right oh, now. Okay. So, <laughs> do they use this during that time? No, oh, okay. just Hanukkah. All right. You see any comments there that we might be able to address, perhaps? Two, three, four. I, I know I saw something about a drone. Ooh. Yeah, I was gonna bring that up too. Yeah. I think this question is more for Dan and Paul, maybe. Um, so, okay. is driving her? Like piloting a drone? You can go away, Jeff. Um, a little bit. I uh, I did get a drone because I have so much fun piloting Herc that I wanted a way to do something similar <laughs> on land. So, um, yeah, there's definitely some similarities to it. Uh, that said, I think. The drone is much better about just going where you want it to go, especially a lot of the modern, you know, commercial, even the hobby ones have gotten wicked good. Uh, the kinds of currents and the type of flying required to get things in focus, I mean, uh, just the fact that there's so much mass um, with Herc, uh, there's, I think there's a lot more skill required to fly Hercules, but um, they're both wicked fun in, in my view. Thank you. Anything uh, remotely operated though is uh, it's good muscle memory because uh, it behaves differently if you're depending on the orientation whether it's facing you or facing away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you have to, uh, for me, I basically pretend that I'm sitting inside the mm -hmm. vehicle, whether it's a drone or a model airplane or a remote control car. Or can you do like, boat. with the uh, drones, can you do auto XY and auto altitude and Absolutely. stuff like that? Yeah. 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 Modern drones are that's cool. There's even, they have like AI, they'll follow you. You know, you can target yourself and it'll just hover above you as you walk around, right. keep you in frame. It's kind of wild. Wow. It's a little That's disconcerting. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially when you didn't ask for it to do that. <laughs> <laughs> What's really disconcerting is when you hand the controls to your teenager and he can fly circles around you. <laughs> Have you guys ever gone to any like robotic Ready for um, move. after yes. school yeah, programs and uh, hung out with them and really done some work with them as as they are trying to or entering this world of remotely meters, operated uh, vehicles? Zero yeah. four zero. Yeah, we do outreach all the time and uh, have tour groups that come to our institutions to see vehicles and operations and. Um, the Nautilus, uh, before COVID, was, would do port stops where we would have school groups come visit the ship, and a lot of times there'd be robotics clubs and um, ROV enthusiasts that are student, you know, student, mm -hmm. st student groups, mm -hmm. and uh, they learn a lot. See any rocks? Can we take a quick zoom on this glass sponge? Yeah. yeah. That one? that one. That one. Yeah, Robert's involved with the um, local high school there in San Pedro. Their yeah. Robotics program. Yeah, they've come to visit the ship a few times. Okay, sorry, Data Logger. You can have your computer now. Oh, cool. <laughs> Good share. This uh, wasn't. OET related, but I um, just recently was working on a vehicle uh, under ice, so we were deploying it through um, some lake ice in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and uh, we also, you know, gave a talk to a Dollar Bay High School up there, 
and uh, later that week they brought their ROVs out and deployed them through boreholes to try to, you know, look at our vehicle under the ice. So it was kind of fun that we got to right. be operating on the same site as them. The main ROV programs uh, really good one to get involved with. They're a lot of local high schools and um, college level, community college as we call it in this country. Uh, yeah, there's the URI Ocean Engineering Department has a team at entering the contest this oh year. Oh yeah. yeah. We sponsored some of them and help help them procure some supplies for their system. I think there's a uh, there's a little AI component to it this year. Very simple, I guess. But um, you want to go for a spicule zoom there, Jeff? Yeah, we could go full quick. That'd be great. Get some captures. How do I do that? We forget to do that. Can some? Or I'll just watch you do it, and I I will learn. Capture her. Ah. But you wait till it's focused. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Sako, one of our scientists ashore, chiming in, thinking that these are maybe anemones associated Come up with the glass bit there, Paul. Huh. Nice and easy. Hmm. Nice and easy. Maybe. Yeah. My my computer is being very. Do you see that? <laughs> or is that me? <laughs> that. That's Trails. what that's what the SCF computer looks like almost all the time. But um Yeah. All right, good good on the zoom. Thanks. Roger. Let's uh keep looking for our rock. I hear kapohaku. Ipa amaila, ike kahua haliho. Sonar is still working, so we're okay. Yeah, it was uh, never below eight, even at the... I like how Val kind of described what we were seeing when I was um, sitting in with their watch during the dinner relief time, is that um, she talked about the oxygen level in the water and um, how the water is more murky in certain areas, causing what we see to appear how we, we see it right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, how does she know these things? There's got to be, <laughs> she has magical powers. Or there's just a screen that tells her all the answers. Well, oxygen does is uh, one of the things we log here. Mm. It's not showing up right now for me for some reason. Yeah, and that's one of the big drivers of the differences we see between depths here is because many of our sites are sort of intersecting or getting into the oxygen minimum zone so it's the big feature in the north pacific ocean um, around here it's around from like i've noticed about 900 to 1200 meters depth sometime going a little lower um, mm -hmm. really low oxygen and so that really affects uh, Bridge, the type this of is not organisms you see i wonder if there might be any rocks over here that we want Maybe. 40 meters at zero three five please Hard to find some loose things up on top of the ridge. Yeah, we'll have to probably drop down. Yeah, I'm not kidding. So yeah, oxygen concentrations in seawater has something to do with the oxidation of the rocks themselves and forming these manganese coatings as well. So Beth's been trying to get her second sample closer to an area that has lower oxygen, mm. just to compare and contrast. And where would it tell us um, the, whether there's low or high oxygen? Uh,
So we, we can plot it with time, but I don't have the good Grafana. I mm. think on the Argot. Let's see if it's on Argot. So it's O2 concentration. Oh, there it is. There? Yeah. Micromolar. And saturation. Um, both just different units of the same thing. Um, the hypoxic threshold for animals um, is around 5% uh, saturation, or I believe 20 micromolars per liter. Uh huh. And uh, that's one of the big sort of climate change components out in this area of the world as well, is that oxygen minimum zone is actually expanding. And so that really compresses some of the ranges of these different organisms. Um, so there are some areas below 1,200 meters, say, um, where there's really abundant animal life. That sort of oxygen minimum zone in the future might extend down into their range, potentially affecting a lot of those organisms their ability to maintain metabolism. Mahalo. I love how you're just It hasn't like changed much. I looked at the last 12 hours, so it holds pretty steady. In my brain, I'm just repeating this mantra to myself. Ang angler rocks. Angler rocks. <laughs> What is a what? I'm not impressed. <laughs> Me neither. It's okay. We've got a tough crowd here. <laughs> it's tough, yeah. <laughs> They're still great rocks, just not the ones we're looking for. <laughs> That's right. Beautiful rocks. Mahalo. Hmm? You never know till you cut them open. Just ask Val. For this cruise, I would say I'm, I'm really never impressed by rocks. <laughs> I've sort of changed my tune a little. Yeah. <laughs> Geology is cool, but biology is beautiful. I concur. Well, I'm sure like there's some beautiful geology out there. Oh, yeah. That saying came from, um, we had a geologist on one of the cruises and mm. wear his rock hammer and his sunglasses around on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I've never quite gotten into caving, but a lot of caving can also just be absolutely incredible and really a cool um, is the perspective. Spelunking? Yeah. You can't live in Oregon and ignore geology, it's everywhere. Why is it called Waypoint? How, like, uh, it's the point on the way <laughs> to where you're going. Bridge, this is not. <laughs> It's called that in seafaring too, yeah? I've never heard that 40 before. meters, <laughs> really? Zero, three, five. Waypoint, I'm gonna have to really. When you program your GPS. Aviation uh, mm. as well. You, you basically pick waypoints mm. too. I see, thank you. It's something you navigate towards. Mm. So it's like you hit this waypoint and then you get to the, and then you aim for the next waypoint. Yeah. Interesting.
Not a lot of loose rocks at all on this face. Hmm. Would anyone like to talk about um, how we eat on board? Arrangements and our, our schedules yeah. are very, can conflict sometimes. So does anyone want to talk about how we manage to Sure. equally spread uh, share the load of yeah, eating sure. during different times well there's there's uh set meal times mm -hmm. because the crew you know the, the galley staff the cooks um need to maintain a schedule mm -hmm. and the 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 crew and the science party stand watches so we stand our you know four to eight and eight to twelve and twelve to eight watches and um or 12 to 4 watches. So the meals are built around the watch schedule changes too. So the people coming on watch can eat before What's they that? go on watch and people coming off watch can eat when they get off watch. I didn't have any mm -hmm. autos on? Except for dinner, which is at a different time, but uh, we provide relief for that. If you have auto on, it'll be all herky-jerky. And that's when I'm gonna dip in and um, join out. other watches and see how their uh, energy is different. Come ahead, different. fly out from under. Um, I, I really enjoyed Diane's little wo noises that she likes to make. <laughs> <laughs> little chirps. It, yes, all kinds of things, and it's now inspiring me to make all the noises that I'm thinking about in my brain. But we'll see. If you guys ever get sick of it, just be like, you need a mute uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> fly ahead. Pretty quick there, Paul. Just to get that tether off of Zip there forward. Yeah, okay, we're good. I'm very excited for you, center. I'm trying to think, um, if I was a high school student looking at this, what would I wonder and ask? What would my high school self think? Mm -hmm. What about you, Epo? I don't know what my high school self would ask. There's a fish. Let's take a zoom. Cap capture her. Yeah. Do it or me? I'll let you do it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I love how slow motion they're moving. Yeah. Graceful. Yeah. If we were to make a hula about all the deep sea creatures, it would be so hard. Oh yeah, hula no hose. Oh <laughs> my god, I can feel my core clenching right now. Nothing really loose in this pile, is there? Maybe look up here. Yeah, I haven't seen anything loose yet. No significant looseness. If you want to try to poke around, you can go for it. I don't know this last ship move, if you have the tether for it. Yeah, we're under. This, this guy, right? I'll let you do it. Yeah, what do you think? Sure. A sec, I got to push some extra button. I got I got to push some extra buttons here, because... Uh, Been operating with the uh, telemetry to the craft turned off. What about those ones there? Shall I? Well, we'll let them yeah. focus on that one first. Yeah. You can put put, put it on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> one, two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these. Well, we gotta get the lasers on it. But that's actually a pretty good size. I like that one, but it's it might be hard to reach. And 
touchdown. That's all right. Can, uh, sorry, I wasn't sure which one he was pointing at. Tilt up just a bit for us. Or I can tilt up if you got your hands full. A little big, isn't it? That one's not uh, moving. <laughs> seems pretty tall. Yep. Can't quite get there. Stretch it out. It's a little tiny one in the sand pool there. Yeah. It's a little smaller than ideal, but let's see what you can get. No, just the sediment around it. Huh. Sorry, Paul, I'm pushing you there. Put it. Very interesting. Let's see if any. Break it off. <laughs> that would be great. No. No. Roger. Um, have him hold position, touch him. Bridge, this is now. Please hold position. Oh, right. Are you happy there? Val was saying a uh, center screen cobble looks loose. That center that screen. I think that uh, might have been a this, minute ago. This was not loose. Uh, no, none of that stuff's loose. That guy back there might be loose. That guy's loose. Mm. Oh, yeah? Was yeah. it? Yeah, that yeah. one that... Oh, that's a good one. The other big one in there is not loose. That one's not loose. Huh. I thought that one we just... Yeah, that guy's loose. Yeah. It's pretty flat. That was watching. She can help uh, guide this, maybe? Definitely. Zoom in there, Jeff. <laughs> no. You'll have to tilt up oh, to get it out in the light. Uh, let's, let's see if Al uh, likes this one or if we should look for something a little better. It's yeah, definitely like crust that. looking. You can hop forward a little bit, Paul, while we're doing that. Look in the background for some yeah. other likely victims. Hey, Dwight. Uh, yeah, this looks like it might be mostly manganese crust. It's got yeah. that kind of pancake look to it. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Okay. Let's look for something different because we are limited with our sampling, so yeah, uh, we'll save it, save it for a... Thank you, Rock. <laughs> Thank you, Pohaku. Uh, can you come forward just a bit more and then come past that coral and maybe set the front of Herc there on the, on the next rock up? i, I got to come down a little for you. What is an unanswered question of the deep sea you are just right itching to answer? Yeah, let me drop down a bit. You're getting tugged. Not a lot loose here. Maybe, I mean, could try that guy. Uh, how did chemosynthetic life start? It's a good one. Probably around hydrothermal vents. Tilt down what a about bit. Just yeah, just to the right of the minute on the screen. That but really how? dark one. Not seeing anything this guy, else. this little guy. Yeah, yeah. Tilt down. I can't quite make it out there. No. Well, I think this is just not really ideal sampling territory, so... No, you need to hop forward anyways, because... Uh, yeah, yeah, let's give up, and we'll uh, keep our eyes out. Argus is... Uh, See you later, Pohakus. Thank you. I'm a horrible Argus pilot, by the way. <laughs> I have no idea where Herc is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> if you uh, aim for it on the nav screen there, Paul, fly yeah. right under it. So. Okay. Where is the uh, altitude this sensor on Herc? Altitude's the second one. It's uh, depth altitude there next to the blue box. No, I mean physically on the vehicle. We're in the front or rear again? It's the DVL. Oh, right, right, right. 40 no. meters at 015, please. Hold on, Katachi. Oh, sorry. Hold, hold position? Yeah, hold yeah. position. We're, we're behind sorry. Argus at the moment. Scratch that. I'll come up as you come under us. You want to ask that to... I know this isn't a pretty view right now, but just getting back ahead of Argus. Okay, you're good now. You're underneath. Wow, we are very high above. That's, that's cool. Yeah, this is uh, maybe a bit more typical of our operations here. Hmm. Yep. I tend to get impatient and uh, force Paul to come down on the deck because I'm not used to two-body system. That fade. Uh, I think we could do a ship move now unless any yep. of these yeah, rocks are yeah. promising. None We're of these, yeah. Oh, good. There. Oh, maybe. You're, you're yeah, hang on, Katachi. It'll be good to get one while we're here. We're near that waypoint. It's been a while. Copy that. Yeah, maybe. if you just... If you just sit down, I'll poke. Are we uh, close enough here? Uh, I judge by the bubble cam there, so if you can see him in bubble, or you know where you're coming down in bubble, then. Do you want uh, me to come forward a little bit? Oh, those little pink things, they're oh, so cute. Stick the uh, manip out there and see. Lucky my kill, all Play, play, Freeze button hockey. fail. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to come forward some. So I'm gonna see where the minip is in bubble cam there. So you can see your porch and the fingers. Ideally, yeah, ideally, we want the uh, manip target in the you bubble think you can re You think you can reach that one? Can give it a go. No. I can push Paul off the uh, cliff with it. Get my backhoe fingers in here. Funny, it, yeah. Really looked loose. It's not at all. All right. Oh, I'm breaking it. Okay, next victim. Yeah, uh, yeah. Val made a good point that we're approaching a little saddle area um, in the topography to the north. That might be good. So if we can work our way along that wall on the west side. And then come sorry, up over that saddle east, or something. East side. <laughs> <laughs> and then approach that saddle. So head straight north? You want the vehicles north? E yeah, well, slight, slightly... Slightly east of north, I guess. Okay. Can you put the uh, high pack where the deck camera is for me? Uh, I'm not sure if someone answered this question yet, but how long is the Bridge tether the between the ROVs? 35 meters. 35 meters. 40 meters at 015, please. There's another one of those spiral call calls. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Aridogorgia. Aridogorgia. They're among my favorite. My coral garden will have a bunch of those. <laughs> Where is it? This one right here. Oh, yeah. yeah Val, Val ID that on the chat. Shout out to Val's biology we're skills. For, oh, yeah. Start moving. Oh, you're good. You can go. Oh, it's going? Yeah, you got it. All right. You'll have to look back down again, looking up in your lights. I use my, um, I hold the vert so I can use my thumb and index on the camera. Mm. 
How's our audience doing? Hanging in with us? Yep. Yep. You wanna? Epo's doing a great job at keeping watch. Zigzag. I think you got to come uh, over here, Paul. Raj. You've got something. Well, there's another little us. fishy over there. I'm going to play with your camera a little, okay? Yeah, go for it. Just get out of the haze in the Would top. Yeah, yeah. Identify the fish? I would love to. Yeah, so if you, uh, you're basically... Yeah. I want to be like right it's where my finger so is. Long. Ryan, can I book a, a science lesson with you where you teach me how to pronounce these, sure, yeah. these words? <laughs> I'm not the best with Latin names, but happy to go over some of them. If you put ide at the end of anything, it sounds good. Ide. <laughs> ide. I Just love it. A cups a day. Fish a day. <laughs> <laughs> Slurp a day. <laughs> Looks like our course over ground's about ten to twenty now, Paul. So I'll put our I'll put Adelina heading on that. Fishy, I think. <laughs> so okay, good. that mm. looks like a swimming vertically too. Mac macro day. Macro year a day, I think is. Mhm. Mm yes. Oh, looks like it a macro. Came too far. What, Say again what's for me. Happening here? Macro year a day. Macro year a day. Oh, you're pulling. You want to try it, Epo? Oh. Common name for those are grenadiers or rat tails. Yeah, yeah <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, you're a day. <laughs> Told you I'm horrible at this. <laughs> Give me a minute, I'll get it Ten together. Keeps losing you. <laughs> no, no, it's yeah, it's both. There's <laughs> <laughs> a lot going on over here. <laughs> Co-pilot. Yeah, see how you deal with all this. Oh, what's oh, that? Oh, look, you can even see it in Atlanta's view yeah, too. It's a, okay, we need to highlight that. It's gonna swim back down. I was hoping it was a huge one down in Herc's view, but... Oh. You can do both. You can try to do both. Herc and Arg. What is that in the ground there? Just some debris? Not sure. Okay, there you are. What does the a day that you speak of stand for? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just Latin. You can uh, bring your head uh, to the left and then lateral. Yeah. They're going down the hill, so you can look at the hill, kind of scooch sideways. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, not uh, 
not as steep, not as uh, dense with corals as what we've seen on previous dives. No. Our previous uh, watches. Do you guys want to look around for rocks or? There's some rocks there in yeah, the that, little divot. That looks pretty good in there. Do we like those rocks? Um, yeah. Too, too Maybe. round? Yeah. We'd definitely. Oh, you want a more angle? It looks like it's associated with the outcrop and not tra not something that rolled in, you know? Yeah, that could be rolled in. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm enjoying watching Abel experience the SCF seed. I'm enjoying watching you experience all the things with us. Is she enjoying the comment <coughs> stream? Are you enjoying the comment stream? <laughs> yes, I am. Very interesting comments coming through. Um, here, I'll show you where um, we can also see what countries are. Um, oh, cool. So we never tell this out loud. Mm. And then sometimes we can, we don't actually put these numbers. Um, we actually just, I like to say hi to all these countries that are tuning in and oh. um, nice. you can kind of see these red dots that tell us where they're all at, especially this is Hawaii. Cool, yeah, Hawaii. Who yeah. else we have? Yeah, you want to read out loud the, yes. the countries we have? Yes. Yeah. United States, Australia, United Kingdom, Canada, Sweden, Finland. Belgium, Belgium, Turkey, Portugal, Poland, New Zealand, Norway, Kenya, Italy, Germany, Barbados. Wow. Yes, a lot of places. Yeah, and then in the comments, some people might put more precisely where they're coming, where they're tuning in from. Oh, Which this is yeah. I'm gonna get a tug here. Are there any mystery um, mysteries of discoveries 0, 1, 0, of the deep please. sea that you struggle to explain? Of course. Yeah. We're still figuring out so much <laughs> about the deep sea. How these ecosystems, you know, we're seeing different things at similar depths on different seamounts every day here. And so, yeah. Uh, just explaining why communities are where they are mm -hmm. is a really difficult um, and fundamental problem with deep sea ecology. Katachi, can you turn your DP screen just a little so I can see it? Yeah, just trying to explain what we're looking at is tough sometimes. What is That's that? Good. That's good. Yeah. Oh. Looks like Kotachi is lonely. Oh. <laughs> it's probably a sea holothurian, probably. yeah, right there. Do we want to get a uh, quick Take zoom? Sure. Yeah, it'd be great. Come in partial on it. Good eyes. Yeah, I didn't see that. My eyes are beautiful. Did you see the sea pig earlier? I didn't. I missed it, too. There's a sea pig? Yeah. There was a sea what? pig on the watch prior to us. I want to see a sea pig. Can we uh, zoom in a bit? You want to share that? Well, you can really see the sediment going all the way through its digestive system because yep. it's so translucent. Not a lot of sediment here on this bare rock. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So cute. It's like glowing. It's like glowing like light that. blue. You see the tube of sediment? That's its intestine. Oh my gosh. In Hawaiian, that would be his ake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hikike ike. Oh, look, and there's a little urchin that's kind of floating around too. What is this thing called? This is sea a... Sea cucumber. Oh, it is a sea cucumber. Yeah. <laughs> Little loli. Kotachi, you remember your name? You're loli. You're a loli. <laughs> All right, let's come wide. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe push it a little bit, sorry. If you're wondering why Kotachi's a loli, it's because in our first couple dives, he was really good at spotting all of them. <laughs> he would be like, look at that there, and we are like, what are you looking at? <laughs> it's a lolly. <laughs> Looks like another one there. Oh, oh yeah. Candelabra-like octocoral. I think here. that mantle belongs to you now. Candelabra. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a fun one. That is a that is a actual name. It almost looks like a hand. Yeah. Probably a gardening rake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a better analogy. It's really not many sponges compared to earlier. That's mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. There's some loose rocks to your right. I think one mystery that I'm kind of like um I would like to know more about is um these really deep water currents. Yeah. See the rock with a coral on it? Yeah. Could be loose. That one with this one? Uh, the one wrong. above it. There does look to be a lot of nice angular looking loose rocks here. Let's uh any uh particular this one maybe? Yeah. You don't like the one with the coral on it? Too big? <laughs> that was huge. Too big, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want the ship like to hold position? Go Yep, let's hold position. Go big or go home. Bridge huh? this is not I think we'd be going home. Please hold position. Case. Very good. Yep. Coming out. Which, uh, which one did you point at? Yeah, I think this one looks pretty good. No. Nope. <laughs> Maybe on the smaller one just south of it. Yeah. Why not? I like it. Yeah. Hmm? How flat is it? Is it terribly flat? It might be some angle underneath it. Val's typing, so maybe we'll yeah. get her in. Some of these are just very crusty. We don't want them so crusty. We want to get a a rock that she's lava. excited about. All right. That's for sure. I think you like it. There's lava in that. It's a keeper. Uh, keeper. keeper. Can we try and get lasers on it. I'm sample. Awesome. Thank you. That's great. Is that a, uh, that's a Valrock starboard box? It's a Valrock starboard box, and, uh... We could go in starboard C. Yeah. Roger. You got it, Paul? You uh, and and yeah. car careful of starboard B, it's where we put the sponge earlier this morning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you want the sample salvo? No. Oh, well, too late. Well, that's not very helpful there. Sorry. <laughs> that's your that. button. But I do want to see the uh, other camera. Yeah. I'll get it. Can you push, um, you see Montop? So that's which number? 90 push Montop and then 96. Push 96. 96. Sample tray coming out. Right. Quad. What did that do? There oh, you go. nice. Cool. Beautiful. Uh, A, B, C, right? C, yes. please. Charlie. Did you get the uh, log sheet too? Beautiful job, guys. Hello, University of Southern Queensland, Bioscience Greenhouse, team number four. I mean, greenhouse number four, team no sleep. Yeah, you. <laughs> it's important that you guys get your sleep. It's okay. There's, that's why we have highlights and yeah. playbacks. All right. I remember we were we were just discussing this with a another viewer last night. Their their young child just didn't want to go to sleep and wanted to keep watching. And oh, Carl, yeah. Well, it's fun because they can type in questions and get live answers. So that's what keeps them engaged, I guess. But mm -hmm. um, there's plenty of opportunity to watch this footage again later. Mm -hmm. So sleep is important.
especially when you have to go to school or work. A day. All right. Some corals. Expl back exploring. Bridge, this is nothing. Oh, yeah. Lots of coral all of a sudden. According to Google, go Latin name north, names ending in a day indicates this is the name of a zo zoological family. Okay, families get a day. Gus from Australia. Sense. Hello, Gus. How about we look at this this guy? Yeah. Is that a good idea? Mm-hmm. <laughs> An enemy or something else? The orange one? Yeah. Yeah, that is a stocked mushroom coral. Stocked uh. mushroom coral. Anthemastis notice, I think, from what I've been seeing. Can we uh, zoom in on that? Can you see its unstocked friend and the red one? Just the upper one? left of it? Yes. Huh. Both an anthemastid or mushroom corals. Can zoom in a little bit more. A mushroom coral. Oh. Nice. It's a type of octocoral, so on each of those polyps you'll see eight pinnate tentacles. Awesome. Uh, Some bamboos. Yep. Quite a few. Floating object. Each yeah. dive sort of has a. Yeah, I think we're good. Thanks. Yep, good here, yeah. Beautiful. Thank Each you. Each dive's had like a characteristic species, I'd say. And on this dive, I'd say these bamboos are sort yeah, of it for me. Absolutely. There were a lot of chrysogorgids earlier in the dive, but recently it's been these. Definitely feel free to just shout out whatever you want to get a look at because it's yeah. all kind of cool to me. So. Yeah, let's take a look at this white fan. Yeah. Yes. I like do a dance every time I get the <laughs> <laughs> Telestrator is lots of fun. I don't like think there's a ton of basket stars or something on there. Oh, yeah. <gasps> we'll see you once we get That's a cute. That's, That's a like cool super view. illuminated right yeah. now. Very cool. Illumination. Venture to say this is Paracalyptophora. Paracalyptophora. Nice. So. Nice pronunciation. I'm working on it. So Every I time Ryan says it, I usually just try and repeat after him. And that's kind of how I learn a lot of things. When you you we, say uh, it, and I'm going to repeat after you, and hopefully I get it right. Maybe not the best lightning spot, but it'll do. It's yeah, nice covered angle. in. Snake stars, type of brittle star. Nani. Nani ke koa. Healthy looking. Yeah. Beautiful. Really intricate arrangement of its polyps there. Each branch. Mm -hmm. Very artistic with this foreground background action going oh, yeah. on. It's like we're hiding behind another coral, <laughs> sneaking up on another coral. <laughs> There's really so much living on it. Yeah, yeah, all those yellow crinoids, too. 
I want to see a crinoid swim again. Oh, and I think I even saw a tiny little cup coral. Oh, yeah, what is Ooh. that? Oh, oh, there it is, yeah. peekaboo. Huh. There you go, Dan. Thank you. All right, can we uh, zoom back out? Sure. Thanks. Beautiful, thank you. It's nice. It's a very busy coral, isn't it? Yeah. They can't, yeah, you can't see us associates on these bamboos. They're too difficult. Yeah. Did you know um, that you can use the left mouse button on the GUI as well as the right, right mouse button? On which one? You can. I, I'd say you can say that one. I didn't know um, that. Yeah. Don't say this that? part. <laughs> um, somebody's asking <laughs> if... Well Makes not. it much easier when you're left mousing. And can anybody right. explain how coral knows to form Sorry, in the shape that it, they do? Does it have something to do with the different currents? Yeah. Do the same species or coral look completely different in different conditions? Good for another move, Paul. Yeah, let's do it. That's a really, really good Talk question. So, um, part of it's now. encoded in their genetics. They have a general morphology that's encoded in their DNA. Uh, but it is environmentally influenced as well. So, 40 meters north, um, please. As you can see, a lot of them are oriented into the current. And so during the process of development, um, the cells divide and go just are arranged certain ways by environmental factors like currents um, in ways to sort of influence their morphology as adults. Yeah. Kind of just walking up the hill a little bit and then. Yeah. <laughs> How many hours a day, roughly, do you guys explore? <laughs> Or is it in shifts? You'll have to do things. that. Yeah, so we actually uh, have um, shifts. Um, again, this I dive is 24 hours it. long. We have um, shifts that run so four thing? hours long. So we have uh, our watch is 8 to 12, oh. then 12 to 4, and then 4 to 8, and around and around in that kind of circle we go. What else? <laughs> Can we get a quick zoom on this one? Shout out to those of you caring for young dogs, and that's the reason you're up watching us tonight. Woof, woof, woof. Oh, this is uh, Victor Gorgia, the purple optic coral. Pony. It's uh, just nice to see some color. What is yeah, that? Yeah, and again, I think as we come up in depth, we start to see at certain depth horizons, start the color starts to come back. On one of the spirals right below it. Yeah. You could ask Ryan again if you'd like to. Which one? She's asking um, the name of the purple coral. Oh, purple Vic what? Victor Gorgia is the name of it. Victor Gorgia. <laughs> How do you spell that? There, right here. Look, look. It should be in the. Oh, perfect. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> it's like Victor Gorgias. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> Victor. Or is your chocolate covered espresso? <laughs> <laughs> They're not here. To, I did, forgot to bring them. I don't think you need them. <clears throat> not tonight. <laughs> not with this little musical chair we've got going on. Get Cheetos. Mm hmm There's a little fishy that kind of that's been like hanging out and flickering around in our view that I haven't seen in a, in a minute or two, but. So just to catch up, we're making our way towards waypoint six. Seven now. Seven. Well, sort of. We've passed six. Yeah. <coughs> Seven's far mm -hmm. away. Hmm. Seven's about two, two kilometers, almost. Two k's. Eight, eighteen hundred kilometers. Oh away. my goodness. Eight, no, eighteen hundred meters away. <laughs> almost two kilometers away. Yeah. Awesome. Just truck trucking our way there. Which sea creature did you wanna um, pet the most? <laughs> 
I want to pet a shark. <laughs> I've I've been able to already pet a uh, stingray. They're very slimy. Yeah. Really in the water. Is there an aquarium with a touch tank near um, you? Actually, they're not near me. There's an aquarium in New Zealand called Kali Tartans, yeah. and then they're in Tahiti. You can feed the yeah. the the stingrays there, and if you rub the oil onto your skin, they'll come in suck on your skin and Are rub you up against serious? you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ooh. And then the actual, actually the sharks swim around there too because they get yeah. whatever's left over, but the sharks don't come too close to you because they're not interested in hanging around, around yeah. people. <laughs> they're just interested in the extra food that kind of floats on by. How deep do sea organisms keep from being crushed from the immense pressure? How do they not get crushed so they have very special adaptations to pressure um, but they have found some fishes down to even down in the trenches like the deepest points of the ocean so there's there's fish all the way down in Tug the adult trenches come back um, talking on it yeah. don't know a whole ton about the specific adaptations to those kind of pressures but they they certainly are well adapted to it is the ship still moving Yep, ship still moving, but you yeah. can. Uh, yeah, you're as long as they're inside, is at the same pressure yeah, as yeah. the outside. Yeah, they don't really the crush, so mm -hmm. they're you know a lot of made out of water, really. So awesome. Yeah, the shark skin is like sandpaper. Mm -hmm. Very, got to be very choosy with how you touch them. Take another four zero you north. The wrong way to scratch you back. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> curly fry, curly fry bamboo. Is it worth hopping up to like the top of this saddle at some point, or we'll kind of yeah, I think so. I kind of like the idea of following this ridge around, but um, yeah, yeah. Then uh, venturing a little farther west to go up to that flat part just to check it out. Can we get a zoom on the purple thing at the bottom of the screen? We just this passed one? it. Can you uh, or circle it? Or this one? No, this first one you circled. That one. Oh, no. It's very <laughs> small. Very, very it's small. Illustrated. <laughs> Spin around, Paul, and look into the hill. Got a better uh, oh, yeah, yeah. shot tiny, of it. Tiny thing. Right there. <laughs> In this general area. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop making a mess of the telescope. <laughs> oh, look, there's another little sherpy shrimp, I think. Another or Victor Gorgia oh. in the bottom left, too. Yep. I think. Not quite seeing it now. Oh, was it not this one? Kind of with the lasers? Or uh, no, it wasn't. It was, uh, it was on a coral, but mm. I think it might have floated. I think it was maybe one of those hydrozoans, uh, jelly type thing that floated away. Sponge there, yeah? Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah, see. that's a interesting sponge. Yeah, why don't we take a look at that? Looks like those, those tulip sponges that uh, Dan was talking about. Oh. Shrimpy. Trying to remember the name of this one. I saw it. Colophagus. Sorry. Oh, does it, does this have a stalk? I think so. Hard to see when you're right above it. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh. Maybe not. Some type of okay, you like to zoom in. Oh, 
really see the lumps on the rock there too, huh? Yeah. Alright, that's a great look, thanks. Sponge. There's also just a little speck of yellow up uh, kind of behind that bamboo coral up on oh the yeah. right, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's anything. It's on the rock. Yeah, looks like a little bit of sponge. We uh, slurped some of that up the other day. Maybe enough for someone to get a DNA sample out of. Is there anything else in this area that we want to look at? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you. Is that the purple thing you were talking about there? Turn your auto heading down. I don't see it. I, don't see it. Yeah. <coughs> I need to do the zoom circle. Yeah, those are useful. I never use it. Mm. Was that the uh, purple thing that you just circled? No, it wasn't. I don't okay. think. Whoa. Some, uh, <laughs> some false, oh, that one. <laughs> some false telestration going on <laughs> up here. <laughs> I, I don't know I'm who's doing the telestrating. I'm not properly trained. <laughs> <laughs> Nor am I. I. I think we've mentioned that that telestrator is the pretty much the exact same model that they use for everything else on sports and so it is loaded with all of these sports packages yeah mm. so you could go all crazy with footballs and hockey mm. pucks <laughs> tennis balls and oh, yeah. so all golf sudden, balls and everything wasn't, like wasn't somebody looking for a meteorite earlier yeah well, <laughs> there, <it is. laughs> there you go i'm sure there's one on there <laughs> You guys want to sample rocks from this area? Mm, yeah, there's some <laughs> cool looking. That rocks. would be fun, wouldn't it? We don't want any rocks from here. Yeah, um, could, no, I think we we're rocked up. We could break moment. off a big piece of that one right there. <laughs> Argus is to the north of you now. According cool. to now. Make sure you're ready Looking to use the octopus on the uh, telestrator. Yeah, ready for another one. Let's look at this uh, little. Let's wait just a second. Oh, oh, oh. oh the small <laughs> net. <laughs> was that a real telestration or just a. <laughs> it Trying. was real, yeah. I was, was just looking squid. at these uh, structures here. This yeah. sort of outcrop. But That's very cool. Kind of neat. Is um, the lack of color in the organisms at this step due to the lack of light? I. Uh, yeah, partially. Certain wavelengths of light get attenuated faster than others uh, when you go down with depth. Um, as you come up shallower, we like on some of our other dives, we've seen some really bright yellows and purples that we think a lot of these chlorals might be able to uh, fluoresce with bioluminescence. Does any sunlight reach this depth? No. No. Yeah. 200 meters, right, is the photic zone? Yeah. Yeah. Certain, I guess, certain wavelengths of like uh, light that we can't see. Oh, but does not penetrate. visible light. Yeah. Kind of. Really? Oh. Jonathan keeps talking about a full Lovely. spectrum camera. We can see all that stuff. Cool. Interesting. Oh, we got a sea cucumber up here. Yeah. You can take a zoom on this yeah. holothurian. I'll come in a little bit closer. Can, can you uh, center the Rob Dem screen, Katachi? Harvey? Uh, Rob Dem screen. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Can we uh, zoom in? Funny that they're on the rocks like this. Usually you usually see them out in the sand in the sediment. Oh, sorry. I fell off that rock a little bit. Yeah, it's still what they're eating. But hey, Lolly, can I know. You? They must really have to Maybe he's lost. Again, you can see the sediment working through its digestive oh, tract. Sorry. Lost Those it. are trippy looking. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 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 
So when you land on the hill like that, Paul, it's a bit counterintuitive, but when your auto heading's off like it is now, then if you gently lateral um, the opposite way, since the front of the vehicle's touching, it'll pivot the back around. So if you want to move the object to the Whoa. right on the screen. Look at that. It's yeah, like yeah. Lateral left. He's, he's really dug into some little sediment trap in the <laughs> down yeah. bottom or something. Nice. You see the little shrimp? Mm-hmm. <laughs> cool. All Although right. sparse, we still, we're see still seeing a lot of life. Oh, yeah. Can we push it a little bit just to get there? I guess that's a... Fix your camera for you. There's lots of yeah, smaller things we're certainly not seeing, too. Mm -hmm. I can find the button. Smaller one, what? Another mushroom coral. Yep. So, take some time on the zooms to uh, try and position the ROV as opposed to move in the camera. Yeah. Asako is asking about a close-up one. Yeah, <laughs> we got it. Okay. Another one. Right next to that. Let's practice all this one. Oh, look, there's a purple one. So cute. So for your landings, you got to put whatever you're looking at halfway between the lasers and the bottom of the screen in general. That'll center it for the zoom. And then also, uh, if Jeff, I get him to push halfway in, or what we call laser zoom, when you're coming in for the landing, that helps to uh, center it for the full zooms. Okay, let's come halfway in. Another guy on the rock. It's probably making its way between these little pools of sediment. Slowly but surely. Oh, all right. Let's uh, come wide and just get back in front of. I don't have to. So um. Once you're touching, don't change your head. Don't try and twist. Just lateral. Got it. You're, you're touching in the front, and then you're pivoting the back of the ROV to center the thing. If you twist, it'll reverse the aft thruster into bad habit, especially on the muddy bottom. There's a purple thing at the bottom. Oh, no, sorry. There's a hole in the rock, I think. Someone's wondering if sea pigs and sea cucumbers are the same things, or are they different? They How are. How do you know the difference? They're both uh, holotherians, um, which are both a type of echinoderms, but they're related to sea stars and crinoids and brittle stars that we've been seeing. They're all in the same phylum of organisms. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, sea, cu sea, sea pigs are a type of sea cucumber. Oh, cool. I can bring it Atlanta back around to the more to the north here. That seems to run away. Take your uh, 
pulling up. Oh, come down a bit. Yeah, you're definitely pulling. So the one thing that helps me, if we're not zigzagging all over, I'll leave Atlanta facing north, which is the, uh, our current course over ground. So if you stay in the box up there, it won't. I just got kind of excited running up the cliff. Looked a little bit more interesting than. Just let me know when you're ready for a move. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Bridge, this is now. 40 meters north, please. Target on it again. Sorry. One box away is all you get. <laughs> now I understand why you like the 20 so much. Yeah, it's better scale. It does kind of feel like we were finding more biology up closer to the crest of this ridge. Oh, at the top? Yeah. Definitely. Things don't like to attach on these sort of more cobbly rocks. Yeah, you can Is that another feel free to change the bearing of the ship if you want to go up the hill, have the ship go west. Yeah, let's, uh, the next move. What are we doing right now with the ship? Do north? Yeah. Let's go like 15. Yeah. You can change them anytime you want. You yeah, don't have to wait. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Sure. If you're going to do that, come back under Argus and then start going up the hill by the time the ship Which changes direction. Yeah. Someone noticed how dense this area is with, co with coral compared to other dives that they've seen. Do you folks know why that is? Yeah, uh, definitely. Can we change um, our current move to 40 meters at 330 instead of what we're doing right now? A lot of that, do has, of that has to do with the fact that we're on hard substrate for pretty much the entirety of this dive um, and on steeper portions of it. So this steep portions that are h high above their surroundings tend to support corals, um, especially when they're on hard substrates. So this is a prime area for, for coral diversity. Part of the reason we chose to dive here, and it uh, has met our expectations, for sure. Someone has a question for Dan. How many other ROV pilots have you helped as they learn how to fly? Oh, I don't know. Probably about as many as helped me learn how to fly. Been doing this for a while, so uh, I always learn something from 
uh, watching someone else operate, even if they've just sat down in the chair. I, I don't have a number. Can we get a zoom on this? This yeah, is really, really pretty. Really tree. fragile looking. Yeah. Basically it looks like a tiny cherry blossom sakura, sakura tree. Yeah. It does. <laughs> Kotachi, did we say the same exact thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a brittle star in there. Ryan, is Ko that the co common name? Yeah, you go on. Um, the common name for this group is uh, iridescent corals or golden corals. Boo. Um, you see a lot of ones that are sort of bottle brush shapes too, not necessarily this one. Should change it to sakura. Sakura. That's beautiful, thank you. Yeah, this one is called metallagorgia. Metallagorgia. Sort of metallic iridescent tea thing. Metallic going on. iridescent. If you're trying to do the pivot trick and it's not responding, remember you have 20% C bias and so 20% thrust down already. So if you lighten up on your verts a little, then it'll just till you start to see it slide. It'll go where you want. If you're giving it a lot of command and it's not going where you want, that's because you're pinned too hard. I'm watching your hand movement, so that's why I'm commenting. Yeah. find myself when I'm uh, I've been in the chair too long like when I'm hitting the stops on the joystick you know. so the first uh, metallagorgia we've seen on this expedition as well quite a few other chrysogorgias but these ones are definitely a, a favorite let's uh, take another zoom wow Kotachi, I feel like a lot of the corals that we're seeing in general remind me of the sakura trees. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess. I, I feel like the, it. No, they have that pink. Like, yeah. yeah. You know, when, when like the whole city is blooming with all those flowers, I'm just like, wow. Yeah. I was able to go on one trip to, and saw. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. I want to see. Yeah, beautiful shot, Paul. Beautiful. I heard there's it's a quite a uh, skinny little stalk that holding up all that weight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was wondering if they're all calcium carbonate. Are they pretty brittle, or kind of still tough for these stalks? And I don't know that they're all calcium carbonate, but <coughs> imagine that for one of the skeletons. Yeah. So the the base is pretty heavily calcified. Um, and the stock has at least some element of calcium carbonate in it, I know. Um, I think so. So they are pretty fragile to handle. I've handled a few of them. I don't mind either way. Just going to strafe the gauges real quick. Right? Yeah. Nice to be data logger for a for a night, see how it works. Get Ready for our next move? Yeah, point. let's do it. Rich, this is Nev. Forty meters at three zero zero, please. What's weather check A? <laughs> you just just been checking the Grafana. Uh. Gauge check, check, copy paste. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it put in zero? What? What's happening here? 
our, our scientists on board in other areas and on shore are agreeing with the sakura blossom, <laughs> the cherry blossom characteristics too. There's another one right at the bottom. Yeah, we're hitting the metallogorgia area. They're easy to almost miss just flying by. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Look at all the rocks we could sample. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they when we're looking to sample? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, as soon as we've taken one, <laughs> now you just have your field of choice. <laughs> can you can you take it out of the box and <laughs> put <laughs> new ones in? There's room, there's room for more in that box, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Where to explore next? It's kind of a crazy looking topographic map, bathymetric map, huh? Is it possible to get another zoom out just to see where we're at a little bit? On the high pack or? On yeah, high yeah. pack, yeah, please. So we're gonna cross this, I guess, ridge, um, and then we can just go up these yeah, then it's pretty s pretty steep. Yeah, that'll be awesome. And then yeah. the next watch, hopefully, will go somewhere along here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it should be dramatic up there. Can we uh, get a partial zoom here? Mm. Yeah, we got a brittle star hanging out on a. I think that's a bamboo coral. Hard to, hard to tell. Yeah. Brittle star hanging out on a bamboo coral. Okay. Sorry. If you could be um, All right, let's come back for up. Halloween, you have to here. choose one of the organisms that we've been watching and observing throughout these expeditions. Um, I mean, throughout these dives on this one expedition. Mm -hmm. You have to choose one of the organisms and you are going to be it for this Halloween. What are you going to be? Cup coral. <laughs> I'm going Chana Cops for sure. Chana <laughs> Cops. Oh, you stole it. <laughs> I feel like I have to be the sea cucumber. <laughs> mm. Crinoid off to the... one crazy uh, Halloween party. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, <laughs> just note that the last uh, that bamboo coral that Brittle Star was on was actually a primnoid, I guess. So an unbranched primnoid. I haven't been seeing very many of those. Should we uh, sample this rock right here, the big one? <laughs> <laughs> Think you can break the piece off? <laughs> See if you can uh, scoop it up on the porch. <laughs> you just need to That's have two arms very to hug angular. it. It'll yeah. take us 12 hours to ascend, <laughs> but other than that, it's fine. Ah, uh, we have a strong winch. <laughs> <laughs> Drag Herc up by the tether. Just put it on uh, Atlanta. It'll probably stay there. Okay. So, oh my so gosh. <laughs> Collect it if you want, but you have to carry it into the lab for Val, <laughs> and then you have to carry it off the ship. And then that's you what have to pack it in a box. To ship. That's what Steve was threatening on the yeah. last expedition. He's like, I'm going to start making you carry these rocks into the lab. <laughs> <laughs> 853 pounds we have. <laughs> geodes. Are there any geodes found? 
on where. I oh. hope I said that word correctly. <laughs> are there any found where where we are? How's the uh, ship ready for yeah. that move? We yeah. dive we're on diving on stuff. one right now. There we go. Which direction? Look, a tiny little sponge. Just straight towards the waypoint. It's yep. a massive yeah, one. Yeah, let's do it. Mercury is quite large. It's uh, we got a little move of feature there, just to your left, Paul. At three five zero, please. I remember one of the oh. comments last night said that it was about the size of San Francisco. Yeah, just the top of it. <laughs> that was Dwight this morning. Yeah. Was it? <laughs> yeah, Dwight was the one who said it's about the size of the San Francisco Bay. Let's see, yeah, this is the same. It's about, I'd say, 15 miles long and uh, oh my I'd say gosh. about eight, mi eight miles wide. Wow. Yeah, just that, at the that, top of the seamount. It's about this the size of the bay. And we're, we're going about as fast as traffic in the bay usually goes. Uh, so. <laughs> this is such a cool rock formation. No, it's huge. If, cool if, if just formation. to explore the top of the gear would take day, like all day, days. Yeah. And we, Should I highlight it? we continue to see new things. So it sort of gives you a perspective on just how much like it. actual biodiversity is here. And we're yeah. just sort of scratching the surface of it. Totally. Cool. Is this the uh, gear with the uh, has the uh, feature in the top, the depression that we were going to go yeah. look at? Ah, uh, yeah, it, it does. They all do a little bit. Um, I had a rather remarkable one on the. Yeah, I think that might be the next one. Uh, loud and I can't remember. Will that be a separate dive, or we'll do it? Um, we're talking about it. We haven't really decided yet. Can we get a partial? Yeah, it, it would be really too far. To, we'd have to tow and transit a long, long way. Right. So I think it would be its own dive. Ooh, I want to figure out the Can we get a fish ID, thing. Mal and I? Yes, I'm so down. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It got bored of us. It is swift. I feel like that was a it's back a little white day. dot there in the, this tier, right? <laughs> Might have been Not a little sure small. Is. Let's go find out. Sponge. Our first big sponge in a while. Too I small think. to be a macroyoridae. What about a? Hmm. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, let's take a look at the sponge. We just haven't seen many of them at all. Yeah, this one looks interesting too. Good catch, Dan. Lot to coral too. Or a mushroom coral, is it? I think it's yeah, a mushroom. mushroom. Which is, it is an octocoral, so it's right yeah. on both counts. Zoom in. Partial. Oh. Lonely sponge. I thought of a couple of songs that kind of came up to mind when you said lonely sponge. Yeah. Well, nobody, nobody living on them. Nobody living near them. What about that? What is that right there? Yeah. Oh, you're right. He's got a friend. Looks like a little uh, crinoid, or perhaps it is a. Uh, take a tighter zoom. Oh, oh, sorry. Shrimp over there. Current pushing you. Uh. No, it's just my first time flying since uh, 2020, actually. Uh -huh. Really? Um, mm. Yeah, October 2020. Doing great, Paul. You're doing a great job, Paul. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty far from it. <laughs> 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 just don't zoom in. <laughs> You'll be fine. Yeah, it's, you know, the zoom. No, it's so hard to hold it. I can't you know, imagine. One thing that um, bubbles your friend there, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All else fails, land with it, bubble, and tilt down. See how it's pushing a little bit? Looking at this little guy on it. Oh, it's yeah. a tiny it's little, little crinoid. Mm -hmm. 
Katachi, you want to have eyes. a hold position for a minute? So cute. Uh, is that if a good look? Males. I think I just lost sure. the uh, bridge oh, to the snow. Well, well. Do we need more? Oh, can I? Oh. All right. Yeah. <laughs> right at that. Do we want uh, more of a look on that one? Oh, no. Good. Thank okay. you. Sorry. I can uh, hop ahead pretty quick yeah, here, yeah. I think. Yeah, go play catch up for a minute. I think you can go ahead with the uh, ship move. Can we look at this anemone? We see anything else interesting on the way? But he's he trying wants to look at something. Do we, we do want to look at that. Yeah. I did. Yeah. All right. Sorry. As soon as you try and catch up. Yeah. That's when we back find row something. wants to see something. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Of course. It's the way it is. The way it works. Looks a little bit like a one Yeah. Sorry, I came up too high. Oh, <laughs> my bad. I was I like, was that's a new feeling. Watching the glow, not the. Uh, not that was side. not the current. <laughs> Told you, horrible Argus pilot. <laughs> Maybe you're home? a better Argus pilot when you're also <laughs> flying her. <laughs> <laughs> If you just push it and try speak, I can tell you whether or not you're on mute or not. Did it yeah. Now I'm muted. No, it's I'm muted. Okay. I was coming up. Did we collect we something uh, like this earlier? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't know. Um, hey, all right, let's uh, zoom yeah. in here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, on Kolleki. Oh, clear. Okay. The other uh, oh wait, actually, it is. One. Yeah, it is. My dog has a toy exactly <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, look at that itty bitty Beautiful coral behind ball. there too. Oh yeah. oh yeah. That's pretty. That's really interesting. Looking With coral. those, wow. uh, are those, those aren't brittle stars mm. behind it on it. No, I think that's part of it. Interested. Sako's typing. Let's see what she has to say. That is awesome. I think this one's actually. I don't know if this is a, the one we collected was a Serianthid, which is a type of tube anemone. I, th I think this is just a... Pom-pom anemone. Yeah, just an anemone anemone. I know how to say that. It's good, thanks. Awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Something that I'm always just blown away with is the quality of the camera and yeah. how like yeah, it's so image. good that I feel like it's not even real. <laughs> like it's so good, it's almost like animated. Right. Mm. Well, uh, shout out to Jeff for the patience while I <laughs> take a little bit longer than Dan to get settled. It's just practice. I think this is awesome that Everything is a, lear a great learning opportunity for all of us who are here. What's oh, a coral? Ooh, wow. <laughs> oh, there's a twisty one. Eridogorgia? Eridogorgia? Arid yeah. Do we want to zoom or should we uh, catch up with Atalanta? No, we you're can fine. Either way. If you can float there. Ship stopped, so. Quick zoom. Yeah. Remember, Paul, there was a whole generation of people that had to wait for me at one time, so don't <laughs> feel pressured. Take your time. There's a little shrimp right in the middle you of the camera. You are the cameraman. You are the cameraman. Wow, that is beautiful. Yeah, look at that geometry. It's just perfect. Wow. I want every single picture. I want it all. <laughs> I need it all. Eridogorgia and Chrysogorgia. I'm getting better at this. Interesting right, to think right, of the skeleton on. growing on, and as it Thank grows, you. sort of spiraling as well. Mm. It's crazy. Is that your favorite coral? Amongst, yes. Amongst. How about you? What is your favorite coral? Yeah, good question. Um, I don't know. I like the the big giant fans with lots of uh, associates. 
Something white. Something white ahead of you there. Oh yeah. Pretty much straight ahead, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. I got a little flashback of watching that movie Wally. -E. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yep. Oh, here's here's the kind of like yeah. This is a beautiful wall right here, knowing, kind of a structure. Yeah, yeah. as soon as it gets a nice slab, mm -hmm. elevated coral. Then some really big boulders right behind it. Yeah, we're coming up to the base of the next mound, so mm. yeah, it's getting a little more. I kind of want to look at these rocks. Do we want to get a closer look at this coral? Or I think we're okay. We've seen quite a few of those. Looks like as there it might is. Be some stuff These boulders are too. quite yeah. round. This uh, whole rubble field looks pretty interesting. Yeah. Oh man, take oh, a look yeah. around you here. Can sample the one in the middle. Just <laughs> give it a, a big bear hug. <laughs> Don't lie, Katachi. You just want to be rolling that around as you work out on deck. <laughs> 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 look at these boulders, kind of perched. Mm. Huh. Probably rolled down the hill and oh, landed wow. there. I wonder if they're like. Rusted onto it now, ferro with yeah. ferromanganese. Looks like there's something on it too, like encrusting sort of barnacles or something. Well, I'm just doing kind of a spin around this feature, but uh, give no, me a shot. No, it's good. It looks anything. nice. Yeah. There's some uh, critters in front of you too on the, on the taller rock. Huge bamboo there too. Yeah, right. look at that. Very full. The sea star hasn't found it yet. Do you want me to ask it? You wanna, okay. Since corals deposit calcium carbonate um, to make their skeleton, can we can we use carbon dating um, to give us their ages? And is there going to be any different results, whether it, if it, uh, whether if it's sampled from the top to your or left, the base? You'll be able to look back into the face there. Ah, yeah. good question. Yeah, that's a great question. People are do use corals Sorry, can we for, uh, people do date corals for a variety of different yeah. methods. Um, cool. And uh, radiocarbon, radiocarbon dating, yep. generally. And, uh, look at other stable isotopes as well to sort of recreate the conditions of the seawater in the distant past as well. So recreating seawater temperatures and um, things like that. So they're a good environmental record. So I guess you could get a different age date from the base. Uh, yeah, and I think people do sort of yeah. sample in multiple places and calibrate it. Wow. wow, nice looking chrysogorgia. That's amazing. A bunch of them just below you, too. I'm under really enjoying these on the rock. rock features with these uh, accompanied accoutrements of corals that we're seeing here. The upside down gardens are always so cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Upside down gardens are super cool. Wow. Have you guys seen Avatar The Last Airbender? Oh yeah. There's like an air temple that is built like this. Oh yeah. It reminds me of it. Hmm. Could you let check out the left fan, please? That's beautiful. From one of our... The left fan, left fan. Is that? Uh, so many on the left. Is that <laughs> this one that's kind of centered right now? Is that? The previous the left. We're we're guessing, not sure. Or a big far pink left one is just hemichorallium, so I don't think it would be that. Maybe it's this one at, at the top. Yeah. Out of this screen. Left. I'm I'm just reading from the chat here. Yeah, I believe it's going to be this one if I had to wager. That one. Perhaps? The one we'd circle the Okay, let's uh, zoom in here. Oh. This looks like 
No, nope, not that one. No. Not this one? You were right. <laughs> a now way. outside of okay, frame. Okay, let's zoom back out. Okay. Now outside of frame. I so feel down. like it might be this one right here. Really? Let's see. To be confirmed. Nope, not that one either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So this kind of lower one? Oh, yes. There's probably this fan bottom left. Oh. That, that? looks different. Yes. Oh. Didn't even see that one. Good catch. Yep. Here we go. Well, look, there's a rock to land on. Yeah. I was <laughs> just noticing and appreciating that. Yes, yes, yes. We are finally able to communicate. <laughs> Bubble cat, my dear friend. Okay, let's uh, partial zoom. Watch your uh, starboard there. Whoa. Blowing, making, making lots of currents there. <laughs> really testing. Good job, guys. A little bit of that green stuff yeah, let's on the uh, rock zoom behind in it. A little bit more cresting sponge. I can uh, move the camera if you got your hands full. Oh, there's one of those hydrozoans. Yeah, I'm not super steady here. Oh yeah. Wow, it was they like move quick. It was like swimming. Oh. I could see its little. Do you have your autos on, or is it you're trying to hold it? We have to uh, interesting back in a little smooth bit. Smooth yeah. rocks here. Bring, your, uh, bring the vehicle to the left a little, and so you're away from the cliff there, just a little bit, and then come in and touch the front of the vehicle on that rock right there by the little red coral. down you'll see your bumper touch the rock there and then I'll give you a handhold. Perfect. A little forward and a little lateral left and a little down will hold you. Current's pushing you to the right. Would anybody happen to know whether or not the animals grow on the low pressure side of slopes? That's uh, pressure, but they tend to be in the higher current side of slopes. Cool. Yeah, we can come in further. Actually, want a lateral left, Paul. Forward, give forward command and lateral left, it'll come to your right. Oh. Is this like <laughs> low pressure in terms of flow? Because usually where pressure is low, you have higher velocity. Oh. So maybe there's more food floating around. I'm I not sure. think okay. of it in that sense. Let's zoom in a little bit more. You see where the vehicle's touching in bubble camera? Yeah, yeah. On the left. Yeah. That's why it's um, Yeah, yeah it's like a right. branching bamboo coral. Interesting. Sorry. Oh, and now I'm off the rock. Awesome. Looks uh, like something. 
taking those, maybe those yellow zoanthids under that overhang to more of a zoom on good. that one, or are we okay? I think we're good on the okay. bamboo. Usually when I'm landing, I'm not doing like a super plant land. Most of the time, I'm like barely touching with one little part of the vehicle. Yeah. This, that handrail. Yeah. All right, should we uh, proceed with another ship move? Are you nope, doing not yet. Oh, not yet? No. Oh, you're you got to get around um, Atalanta, right? Yeah, you got to yeah, come yeah. back to the north. If um, there weren't much, um, if there weren't things that were restricting uh, perhaps the movement for Hercules, how fast could Herc move across the water? Or can do uh, just under two knots. Mm. Forward. That's a cool sponge. There's a part of me that wants to figure out how fast I can swim. I One know. knot, maybe. I don't know. Another uh, lonely sponge out here. <coughs> lonely sponge. Pretty cool kind of plateau that we're reaching. Interesting. There was a little fishy down there. A What's person's uh, average walking speed is about three miles an hour. Let's go ahead with the ship move. Bridge, this is Nav. Which I forget what, what that works out to in knots. It's two point something knots, your average walking speed. Uh, 40 meters at bearing 3, 4, Sounds 5, about right. please. So you're saying we could walk faster than Hurricane Drive along the seafloor? Yep. <laughs> Another little spiral coral, coral down that corner right there. Yeah. Nice. Is that our brittle star? It is. Sunbathing out on the rock. I wonder what all this is like. I feel like it might be some dead organisms that kind of floated. Or, please confirm with me what you may or may not be seeing. Also, oh, hard to tell if that's just sediment or something else on the top of the rock. Mm. Is the high pack oriented um, north at the top of the screen, east to the? Yes. Cool.
I wonder what this is. Maybe. Oh, that was a rock pen, I believe. Rock pen. Cool. Saw a lot of those earlier in the dive. Just after our shift this morning. Can we do a partial zoom on whatever this is, center screen? Yeah, it looks yeah, like one of those spirals. Goes. It's really cool to uh, set up to zoom down the spiral. Mm. Might be opportunity uh, here. Go for that. Let's get some glamour shots. Are you ready? Yeah, you can uh, come in a bit. I'll just try to step down. Yeah, the oxygen concentration has dropped since the beginning of the dive. Looks like those little itty bitty jellyfishes are oh on yeah, here also. Oh yeah, hydrozone on the right side of it. A couple of them. Hydrozolin. That's the technique I like to see. Tilt and then pan with the vehicle. And then lose the shot. <laughs> but yeah, we're uh, getting there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the hot setup. The tilt's actually, the tilt down is the best uh, controlled one at the moment. The pan is crazy. Yeah. And you're right, I caught myself trying to hand with the vehicle while thrusting like <laughs> down, which is not a uh, productive endeavor. Be the camera. You're getting in a lot faster than I did, Paul. <laughs> Bridge, this is nothing. Trevor's dad used to sit next to me and when he, he was doing something I didn't like, he would kick my chair. <laughs> <laughs> or when I was doing something he didn't like. Another 40 meters at three, bearing 3, four, five chair kick. <laughs> Katachi, could you measure the distance to waypoint 7 from here? No problem. For the ship, it's 423 meters. Okay. Uh, it's about yeah, the same for the vehicle. Thanks. 420. 423. And that's number seven? Yeah. Yep. You're going to have to slow down so I can come up down the Jeez. out of the teens now in altitude. 3,000. All right. Too fast, right. too furious. <laughs> Kotachi, do you mind talking a little bit about, like, how you became a navigator? Um, sure. <laughs> I feel like I fell into this role. I got really lucky. Um, so I'm an ocean engineering PhD student at the University of Rhode Island. And my professor, Chris Roman, uh, works a lot on Nautilus cruises as uh, I think his main role is expedition leader, just like Dwight. Um, or uh, he's pretty heavily involved with mapping um, missions and so he brings out a lot of his students to come as navigators and I'm one of them um, it it also happens to relate to my research so I work in uh, autonomous vehicle navigation so um, I think this firsthand experience of figuring out how to navigate uh, for a mission is really important because now I know what's actually going on for you know whatever robots you send out into the field. Mm -hmm. um, plus, it's a lot of fun. So I, from, I think it's a huge privilege. Did you get your masters too? Uh, I did my masters in marine biology. I kind of jumped around a lot of fields. Um, Chase the shrimp. I did my um, yeah, undergrad in <laughs> chemical engineering and. Uh, so I, I realized I really like the ocean, and I missed engineering, so ocean engineering seemed like a way to combine marine science and 
yeah. engineering, and exploration, and all of it. So uh, Katachi and I also have a secret, which is that uh, it was Jess, the upcoming Herc pilot, who basically let both of us know about Nautilus and really kind of turned turned us on to all of this too. So yeah, thank you, Jess. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. And I think something else that I just want to say is, you know, like Katachi and I and Dwight, like a lot of us have PhDs, but I think sometimes it's just that the PhD gives you some time and flexibility to pursue opportunities like this. You certainly don't need one. Um, and really, like, especially coming out to sea, there's a lot of skills of just like being friendly, being willing to put on a good attitude even if you're seasick, um, asking questions and being persistent. So uh, there's so many, all kinds of skills that can help you kind of find these paths for, for your career. And um, yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much. How about you, Ryan? What led you to be, be being a Kanaka Epic Hemai scientist? Well, we should get uh, close to Argus for watch change. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, we'll save Kylie from winching up 20 meters. <laughs> <laughs> I was sort of just... Um, an interdisciplinary studies undergrad, really. Um, kind of studying a bunch of different things and uh, took a invertebrate zoology class that really sort of blew my mind and realized that, you know, animals are, are really what I'm into. Um, got to do some research experiences as an undergraduate, um, which led me to realize sort of that's what I want to do. and. Did a master's from there, and then now moved on to my PhD, which sort of, similar to Katachi, has opened the door and given me the flexibility to sort of drop things at, at a hat and come out here and be on the Nautilus for a month. Awesome. Yeah, deep submergence science and engineering is really kind of a niche and, and we all sort of know each other and Katachi's professor Chris Roman and uh, Ryan's professor uh, Eric Cortez, uh, you know, are, are, deep, are in the deep submergence community and we all kind of know each other. So it's great to um, make all those connections and, um, you know, these are the folks that we're going to be working with, you know, on ships like Nautilus for the future too. So it's, um, we'll see each other at conferences like the Ocean Sciences meetings or Marine Technology Society meetings. And um, it's, a, it's a good field to be in. Awesome. Thank you. There's a, there's a cruise out here in October or September, October. And, uh, Amy Baco Taylor is a scientist who does research on uh, deep sea corals as well, and she's got a project uh, exploring some of these same seamounts um, with the Jason ROV using the University of Hawaii ship Kilauea. Mm. And um, Gabby Inglis, who was on the previous leg, is going to be helping the Jason team, and uh, some people from my group are going to be involved in putting telepresence systems on that ship. So. Again, another small world, you know, similar projects, different people, mm. different ships, different vehicles, but uh, we kn we work together, we know each other, and we, pl we, we always take these opportunities to kind of plan what's next in our lives, too, and figure out what, what other projects we, we can all get involved with. Thank you, Osako. Uh, Can we uh, get a zoom here? 
<laughs> One last ID before you before you go, Asako, huh? <laughs> Thank you so much. Hasta mañana. Thank you. Beautiful Sam Paul. Perfect. <laughs> uh, there's gonna be a little bit of movement in here in the van while we are um Watch Wait, you guys don't want to leave. You're going to have to get peeled out of your seats. I know. <laughs> I don't know. I can take I'm that. I'm starting up. to get cold, so I'm Thank actually you. ready to go. Uh -huh. Oh, I, I don't know. I'm just going to, I don't know. Great shot of the sort of bumpy stock on this at the masted coral. Thank you, everybody, for having us. Um, a little bit of a musical chairs tonight. This yeah. Is fun. yeah, fun. Um, different. Is this still an octocoral? Because of the eight. Good night. Coming away in hand and off. Oh, we might have just lost signs. Oh, well. Thanks for a good good watch, you guys. Yep. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Dwight. Thanks, Dwight. You'll have to keep moving. There's yeah. another 20 meters left on the ship move. That's, that's a good uh, distance for handover. I don't make her happy. It's about to get steep, though. You're unsupervised now, Paul. You've got 20 meters to do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> practice just like trying to rest my front porch against this uh Testing, testing, testing. Loud okay. and clear. <laughs> All right, I gotta set my levels. Oh, am I too loud? No, I think you're okay, but I'll I'll monitor it. Okay. No. Yeah, so we got a 12 to 4 graveyard shift uh, in the process of coming online here. Um, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm here. The team's here. I got my sippy cup full of coffee, so uh, we are good to go. Okay, just a quick review for the plan. Would you like to go straight to a point seven? Uh, yeah. Let's let's start like that. Um, yeah, direct to a point seven sounds great. And then maybe before that, if you'd like to go to west, let me know, please. Okay. Um, 
think a straight shot would be good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so for those of you just joining us, we are... Hello, Herc. Hey Dan, you got a happy birthday from one of our uh, okay. regulars on the science chat. And get Garen. I'm coming up. <laughs> I think we made his day. I think you did. I felt good to play that song again. <laughs> did you just give him the ice cream? Yes. Oh. And we played the song. Oh. I love that song. <laughs> oh, Corral, cor no, shh, shh, Chana Cops. Oh, yeah, there you <laughs> go, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, tell me. <laughs> Don't step on my ID, I'll get it. <laughs> just give me a second. <laughs> right next to an Arena Gorgia, and is that another Metallic Gorgia that we have there? Oh, I've really? Seen a couple Look of those. With the Metalgorgia. I just Asako helped. I was out. watching. Gotta get a head, gotta get a head. Her going up a hill, going up a hill. <laughs> we have <laughs> so much energy. How hard do you I think we're all gonna <laughs> crash? <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens at two thirty. I oh hope you mean God. the vehicles and not ourselves. Oh, wait, I hope you mean ourselves, I not mean, the vehicles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See, I always say that I I'd love a strap for this seat. I'd really like to be strapped in. I feel like I'm flying. <laughs> Do you need a seatbelt? Yeah. <laughs> I want a five-point harness for this sucker. Ooh, good idea. <laughs> that also sounds really harness. <laughs> Going for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a, like a weighted blanket or something. Oh, oh yeah. That'd be nice. All right. Well, this is the science content everyone's tuning okay. in for. <laughs> okay, science is done. <laughs> no, We're done kidding. science. The science uh, never ends. It never ends. So we are really about two-thirds of the way through our planned 24-hour dive. Like almost straight up. Thank you, Christopher. <laughs> for Climbing up Mercury Seamount. How big of a step are you going to do? <gasps> 50? Is that good? Is that too much? We're going straight up. <laughs> Those are some steep okay. contours. Yeah, I, I, 50 is okay. Yep. Okay. If Jessica believes in me, then I believe in us. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that Let's see what good. it feels like. Thank you. Okay, let's do it. Using RV's Hercules, no, yes, Hercules and Atalanta. Yes. I didn't say Argus that time. What's? I still say, <laughs> I still say Argus as well. That's all right. I, mean, <laughs> I need more joy again. Yeah, we are about to embark up a uh, fairly hey, steep ridge here. Jess. Yep. It 
is midnight Hawaii time. We have folks all over the globe, six different continents, tuning in to us. <laughs> Still waiting to hear from McMurdo Station. <laughs> I will tune in when I go, just so that the SCF can say all continents. All right. Auto heading. We'll um, to six cool. degrees of connection, someone who's in Antarctica right now, and get them to tune in. Video zoom. Got a crinoid, got a brittle star, got a coral. What is that? What kind of coral? You know this. It is a bubblegum coral. No. It's a black coral. Mm, come on, you're not <laughs> trying. You're not trying. <laughs> it's not a metallogorgia. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. know this one, Val. Is it Corallomorph? Uh, no, that's a different thing. Yeah. That's is a Corallogorgia. Corall okay, Corall, right. yeah, Corall is Corall. in it. It is in it. Yes. Corall. What is it, Val? Hemicorallium. Yeah. Oh. You were so close. Oh, I lost the bracket. <laughs> <laughs> you, near, you, you were so close. What's that one called? Say it again. Hemicorallium. Yeah. Hemicorallium. Yeah, I didn't know that one. That was not in my bank. <laughs> I, I am still learning the things. Would you be able to remember it tomorrow? Hem Hemicorallium, yes. Okay. Yes, I could. <laughs> Hemicorallium. All Only right, now I you have to remember it though. Okay, so. yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Hemicorallium. What's, What's over the right? there? Hey, Kylie, do you want me to oh. zoom out all the way? Ooh. A pretty sea star. Um, oh, it's a hymenaster. Why am I... We've like seen this. a couple Are of my thrusters on? <laughs> Not on our ship, but in previous dives, right? <laughs> I think no, we yes. Out the log. Okay, Raj. <laughs> <laughs> Kylie. Sorry, Raj. Hold on one second. Okay. No worries. She's losing would her mind. Like would you like to zoom on this? I, I it's would. Got me, it's got me losing it, too. I love giggle, giggle shift. <laughs> Oh, okay, all, all right. <laughs> yeah, so one thing we've been seeing a lot of this dive um, has, has been just this uh, really well-formed uh, manganese crust, and it's been uh, making rock grabs in some places a, uh, a bit of a pain because it looks like uh, the tallest formed before the manganese crust, and the manganese crust is just gluing everything down. So, You're full wide. It's been uh, a little deceptive. Things that look like they might be easily picked up are not necessarily. I can go slightly wider, but it would just show the edges of the camera casing. That, it doesn't, um, yeah, uh, for this purpose, that is quite okay. I just wanted to see how far up I was looking and stuff. Sure. Thank you. Hem Hemicorallium. Yeah. That's it. Hemicorallium. Yeah. And a shrimp, or a fish, or what are you? Do we know Scrimp. what kind of shrimp those little red guys are? Caridia. Okay, because my dad has been sending me videos of them and asking, so. I love that. I think they're Caridia. He's very okay. excited about them. On a similar note, Rhett. Yes. I have a follow-up to the uh, Antarctic tree story. Oh, mm. yeah, the, in, the, in which case I was or Did you ask Diane? Yeah. I asked Diane, too. No, what did you, okay, what did you find? Uh, it was actually my mom who found it. Oh. She's you? been listening in. Um, she says that she she found something potentially uh, as an answer to the question. Uh, you might be thinking of the lone tree of Campbell Island. That's an interesting out for me from my wrong <laughs> thing that I said. Sure. Uh, it's a uh, Sitka spruce, and um, let's see. It's uh, the only tree growing on that island. What's that down at the bottom there? Dead st stock, coral stock? Some kind of stock. I also think I take this back, and I think this might be Swiftia. The, the like, yellowy polyps sort of seem Swiftia-y. OK, come wide. Yeah, that's totally Swiftia, actually. Swiftia. I lied. It's not Hemicrallium. How would I um, be able to tell a difference? It has that red skeleton, but it 
it has these sort of yellowy polyps and swiftia there's like stock like a non-branching swiftia uh -huh. and then there's also a fan swiftia like that i think that's the fan swiftia uh, okay. so if it has a red stock and yellowy polyps it's a swiftia yes but not to be confused with like a hemichorallium covered in yellow hydroids or something right. <laughs> <laughs> but in general hemichorallium is more like red stock uh, branches and red polyps also right with like pinky collops kind of okay of. okay what uh where is camel island uh, Campbell Island is uh, considered part of New Zealand and okay. uh, it's Swiftia. among a group of uh, sub-Antarctic islands. Come wide? Promising. Yeah. And apparently this was a, uh, uh, this tree was used by the uh, meteorological station on the island as a source of their annual Christmas tree. They go and cut the top huh. off every year. <laughs> the top but despite off. that, it kept growing. That poor tree. I know this one too. This is the right. Corala Gorgia, right? No, you're no. so close. Ooh. Gold. It's a word for gold. The first part. Gold or Elia. Uh, it's <laughs> it's the one that I remembered with the thing. I know. I thought that was what I said. But no, what did I say when I do the? Cor your Corala is so gorgeous. No. Uh. <laughs> I say blank. You so gorgeous. Gor Christ. Christ. Oh yeah, that's it. Tell me again, what's it called? Chrysogorgia. <laughs> Chrysogorgia, yeah. This is Chrysogorgia geniculata. I got my C mixed up. <clears throat> Raj. Chrysogorgia. <laughs> and what's next to it? Apparently this was tree. A Walteria? Oops, sorry. I think that it's a, a primnoid. I think it's a coral. Um, Go ahead. Video zoom? Yeah, it's just the angle. Oh, yeah. I got more light. Oh, there Raj. We go. Okay, come wide. I'm gonna get on out of here. I will keep the same movement. I sound uh, yes, please. Praise this is Nav. We have a question coming in. Oh, really? Uh, another uh, move, same step. What's that? We've got a. Octocoral, mushroom coral. It's, it's yes, yes. It's one, one of the long stemmed. Heteropolypus tahinodus. Uh, what? Tahinodus is the species. Tahinodus. And Here's these look fish. like, uh, uh, what are the Chrysogorgia that are all up there? Oh, I gotta go. Sorry. And a fish. Uh, what's the question, Christopher? The question is, uh, what does a person have to do to get into the science chat? Ah. How, is, how are those members selected? You make a an account on the Scientist Ashore portal, and then you'll need to be uh, sort of approved by our moderation system. But if you, I can't come up right now with exactly who you would email, but I could look into it. But um, then you would have to sort of express some kind of interest, Did and then you could get approved to be on the Scientist Ashore chat. Oh, it's got a stock. I didn't even see the stock. I thought it was floating. Raj. Flavicens. I think it's Chrysogorgia flavicens. Okay, come wide. What's up with that rock being different than the rest? See that? Uh, is that another one of those uh, dead sponges? Oh. oh. Maybe. Raj. I don't know. You want to zoom on it? Yeah. Yeah, let's zoom on it real let's quick. zoom on it. Oh, yeah. I think it's a sponge. Yeah, I think that does look a little spongy. It's a, it not the right kind of botryal texture. <laughs> <laughs> the other, other kind. <laughs> Total geology joke. <laughs> Come on, please. <laughs> Big old mushroom coral. So, yeah, I, okay. guess, I guess this tree, um, it was brought there by some eccentric lord ran early or something. So, yeah, some dude did it. Oh. I'm going to go back to that question. So if you go to uh, Nautilus Live, if you were to type in nautiluslive.org, actually the easiest way might be to, to type in Nautilus Scientist Ashore Program. Can't do it. And the first Thank link that go. comes up will take you to uh, a page, a landing page for our Scientist Ashore Program, explain a little bit more about uh, what that is, who who can register for that, and, and how you participate and register for that. And there's a registration link there, um, and the email that you would email. Uh, to ask any questions would be science at oet.org. So yeah, it's a uh, it's supposed to be an open program for people who'd like to to collaborate 
um, on a scientific level with us during expeditions. Thank you. You know what being in the chair first means for me? What? It means I get to um, dose out my snacks over the course of the four hours. I don't just eat them all in the first ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to put these no, aside? I, I, maybe just one. Yes, please. <laughs> I'll put it on here, okay? Roger. For you. Are they, <laughs> <yours>? oh. <laughs> they are now. We haven't done uh, introductions in a while. Oh, let's yeah, do let's, that. Let's do introductions. And uh, there's a suggestion uh, that we each name our favorite water-themed movie. <laughs> okay. Wait, our favorite kind of meat? Water-themed movie. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wow. I misheard you. <laughs> Okay. Really misheard you. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Yeah, that color is Victor amazing Gorgia. on that. Victor Gorgia. I think so. With uh, oh. a bunch of brittle stars on. Just knows. Oh, so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Who's gonna start? Hold on. Hold on. Don't say me. Um. Hey, I'm Rhett. I do video. There you go. Can you and zoom for me? What else, Rhett? Oops. I. Hey, just a moment. One way to do. It. <laughs> His favorite water movie is the one we're making right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, that's a good answer. Oh, that is my answer. You know, purple <laughs> things underwater just have no business being purple. <laughs> but okay. that's why I like them. <laughs> that's the Leo of, uh, of corals, you know, very attention grabbing. It really very is. center of attention. Oh, and the orange. They're contrasting colors. My name means purple. Does that make me attention grabbing? I love it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And what language is your name? In purple. In German, but also sort of in Spanish. Can you go on a polyp, maybe? Polyp level zoom. Oh, in German, that's cool. I love wow. it. Wow, that's a great hmm. picture. Yeah, that's, that's a really shot. striking. Cool shot. Cool. Looks like the polyps hey. are sleeping. <laughs> okay, come on. The thing that we should be doing. Very cool. The thing I should have done earlier. Yeah. Yeah, that's the answer. <laughs> okay, all right. Huh. Movie. So, so water-themed movie. Anything else? Mm. I'll know. get back to you. Okay, <laughs> Roger. I like uh, or the one of the new Jurassic Worlds where they have the the it's not a dinosaur but they have like the the plesiosaur or whatever that jumps out of the water. Does mm. that count? Or very briefly, water theme. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Okay, fine. Just for that one uh -huh. moment, mostly for the trailer. Okay. Are these more Metallicorgia over here? I'm surprised that we're suddenly finding, like, a bunch of them. Well, when I found that source uh, for the picture online, it found them around, like, 1,500. So I was thinking we might, if we already saw them, we might be seeing them for a little bit. Uh, oh, never mind. Might I heard right. one. I, like, um... Yeah, maybe they're Metallogorgia and not the what I was thinking of. Yes. I honestly I don't have a hard time telling Metallogorgia apart from certain Chrysogorgias. I'm going to get gotcha. more pennies, and you got a fish in your cam. Uh, Sokka was telling us that uh, she really Those likes fish. them because they uh, <laughs> they have the same sort of uh, color theme, color scheme as uh, uh, cherry blossoms in the spring. Oh, beautiful. Uh, the Sakura cherries. Okay. All right, Jess, you go. All right. Hey, folks. My name is Jess. I'm sitting in Argus. Uh, and let's see here. Let's see. Favorite ocean theme movie? Probably Aquaman. Uh, I mean, just cool. like all the stuff going on in that movie is amazing. Oh, that's a fun movie. Yeah. I, if if only I could talk to animals the way he does underwater, I would uh, be out there saying hello to you guys, but on the, from the seafloor. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even hard to imagine for me. Like for you, like I can see you being like. Like oh, your hair just star. like in the water, <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. This dude. Yeah, the I'm, thing. I'm lining up for him. He's all legs. What's that little brown piece right in there? I don't know, like well, a big get cup a, coral a or something. partial zoom. Oh, yeah. On all that. I, right. I don't know if that's true. Well, oh, it, it is. is. Yeah, it is, that is that. a big cup coral. 
Oh, you guys see the cup coral? I see the long and lanky thing there. Yeah, me yeah, too. That's, that's what I thought. Oh, we're looking at both. <laughs> oh, is that an urchin though under it, or is it also a cup no, coral? No, that's oh under it. You see, like smaller, on that rock, smaller cup coral on the other rock. I don't rock? know. Is that, is that, that rock thing? To be able to tell the It's kind of hard to tell the angle. Come on. Why don't I want my own personal telestrator, you guys? Okay, uh, Kylie. Yes, dear. Oh, no. me. No. Um, uh, pull out. I'm Kylie. Okay. Forward. Would you make another move? You have a 10 meter delta. We are so Probably bad at staying on task. Bridge, this is nav. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, a halosaur. Uh, okay. Another move, same step, please. Yeah, I think you're right. The head looks the right shape just from here. I just got it. It almost looks like it has like a sucker mouth, though. Sorry. I can't see. I can't stop now. Um, I am Kylie. I'm impersonating a Herc pilot, and I, I like, you know, I like the movie The Abyss because oh. I thought it was, I didn't want to watch it. I thought it was a scary movie. I was like, ooh, The Abyss, that sounds scary. Um, and my friend was like, wait, you've never seen it? And I was like, no, I don't watch scary movies. And he was like, mm, no, <laughs> and it's not, it's not a scary movie. Um, and it had like robots in it. Ocean wow. robots, and I was cool. like, "Oh my god! If I had watched this when it came out, I would have known what I was gonna do with my life." <laughs> <laughs> I was I was on a ship working with Alvin when I watched it. <laughs> I was like, "What? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that one. You've got you've got my interest peaked." I oh, like you should that watch it. It's a Spielberg movie too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. That's yeah, the I'm choice. Check it out. Thinking that Kylie's really quiet, like Kylie's actually turned up on my pilot thing and still quiet. Which is unusual for Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just might get it. I have you uh. turned up plus five, and I still am like, can't hear you that well. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Suleiman. Hi, I'm Suleiman. I'm the navigator here. Thinking of a movie. I can't think of anyone, anything right now. Uh, you got to know something with yeah, the ocean. Yeah, Titanic is a good one, but... Uh, Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Classic. Which one did you say? Titanic. Ah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Red October. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Red now October. they are coming up. Exactly. Oh, we're coming up on something. <laughs> Think yeah. hard, of it, hard enough about it. Something will come to you. How oh, big a rich Gordia. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> they look like fireworks. <laughs> they do. Like my favorite kind of fireworks. You know the ones that the, the ones they that splay out and then the, the, the gold like goes oh like... Oh yeah, and they flicker. And yeah. it flickers out. That's my favorite oh, those are some kind of favorites of too. And the sound that comes with it. Yeah. That's why I love Ritigorgia because it's like my favorite firework. <laughs> wow. <laughs> a little bit. Fall more in love with the seafloor every day. <laughs> yep. If I can't think of a movie, uh, The Master and the Commander. Ooh, that's a good one. Yes. I <laughs> That is a very good one. It shows how they were in the old days, like moving and doing Tactical the movie with just such a good go. soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Gabby said it was a game to try to line up and see down the spiral of those, but I, oh, I couldn't hard. get low enough to get it. No. <laughs> I, got I a, like the I, side view here. That's interesting. I love them from above, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the helical cross-section. Still came doing things. Oh, oh! It does not want to give me control of still cam. Uh oh. Oh wait, there we go. Hey, how are we doing on samples? Oh, pretty. Um, mm -hmm. we have uh, we have space for a rock. Uh, for a rock for Beth, a rock for Val. I what think we'll we? get a rock for Beth later in the dive, but we are coming up on uh, oh, one of the thresholds star. she was interested in as far as O2 concentration. Oh, are we finally down around 40? Yeah. Do you know if the last one was taken at a low oxygen, Justin? Um, I didn't really have a handover from Dwight and Ryan, so I think they, they just took a sample, but I don't know. I think that was a rock for me, like 45 minutes or so ago. Well, but they t also took the the one, f I believe, for Beth. Okay. I didn't know if that happened on their watch or Beth's watch. Oh, maybe that was on Beth's watch. I don't I, know. I I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I was busy cutting rocks and getting really excited about rocks, so I wasn't paying attention to <laughs> what was happening up here. <laughs> What's up, Beth? Here What's we, that? I can actually figure that out, too. I was supportively helping. <laughs> yeah. I have the the, just the cutest videos just of shadow. the rock cutting team. It's so great. Um, okay, I am Leela. I'm sitting in the data logger seat. And uh, my favorite one that's coming to mind right now that's ocean themed movie 
is Moana. And yeah. we watched it. I watched it for the first time in 2018 in Papahanao Mokoi Camry National Monument Whoa. on Nautilus. So it was also really special then, too. That's awesome. Nice. I guess I'll go next since I'm in the next seat over. Uh, I'm Val, um, the uh, lead scientist for this watch, and uh, I am very happy with uh, to be seeing uh, all sorts of rocks and some interesting corals that we haven't seen yet. Um, yeah, my favorite uh, aquatic movie. It's kind of hard to choose. There, there are a few, uh, there are a few out there, but I'll go with the Life Aquatic. I knew you were going to say that the yet. second you said aquatic movie. I was like, she's going to say Life Aquatic. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, okay. I'm losing control of my words. Life Aquatic life. also just like is this boat. It pretty much is what we do. It's surprisingly accurate. It was something I didn't notice when I first saw it as an <laughs> undergrad. Like I, I wouldn't have known. Accurate down to the gunfight and the kidnapping of oh, the dog. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't supposed to tell that part. That's what I we was do sitting eight hours <laughs> on the hot tub deck, or on uh, not the hot tub, you know, whatever the, the, the dot tub. deck, <laughs> the tepid tub deck, and um, uh, and you know how more. you can see multiple floors from sitting there. You can kind of look down to the deck. You can see the social deck. You can look up to the deck above. That feels like a very life aquatic spot. You know how like you can yeah. see the boat cut halfway through. It mm -hmm. feels like that. That uh, occurred to me as well. Of, yeah. Uh, coming onto this boat, having never. You just disappeared. Oh, did we lose uh, Rhett? Having never been on a, a research cruise before, I was kind of curious about the similarities, and it's at least as far as the layout of the ship goes, it's pretty pretty dead on. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> How fast are we going right now, out of curiosity? Um, I think pilots are off SPL, so. Hey, We're going 0.2 knots right now. Ah, never mind, they are. Excellent. Yes, we are. OK, no problem. All right, well, uh, Justin here. And I'm a guest educator, and I work uh, for Papahanao Mokuaka Marine National Monument at our Discovery Center, Moku Papapa, in uh, Hilo, Hawaii. And we are hopefully opening soon, uh, so please come visit us. Um, I, you know, honestly, I was thinking more like river at first, like the river runs through it because I really like the book, and a good friend of mine taught me how to fly fish. Oh. So there's Ooh. sort of the sentimental piece there. But uh, uh, if we're sticking marine, um, I just saw the, the Jacques Cousteau documentary recently and I cannot remember the title but that was super interesting just also to see how kind of people's perceptions of the ocean and yeah yeah he was pretty instrumental to uh, helping uh, advance that yep at least kind of within that culture yet. yeah sort of pop popularizing marine science Yes, I see what you're looking at. <laughs> I didn't have my SPL on, my bad. Can you zoom on that, please? Sure. What are you? What is that? kind of spindly little guy. Yeah. No, the you see the green thing in oh, the back? No, a oh, no, green wait. thing. Can we zoom more on that? Yeah. That's is that sort of. Uh, is it? It oh, looks sorry. more like just come on a bit. Sure. Yeah, I have a habit bad. of I should have gone that tight. That's OK. I have a it habit of pulling away like when you zoom in because I get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't help. <laughs> Sorry, okay. a back row. Was that was that that? Just you guys zooming? wanted this. We would like to zoom on it more. Zoom. Okay. Yep. 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 I'm kind of cruising through his wish list. I've just got to go quickly. Okay. Uh. It does look a lot like that stuff we tried it, to sample. It does. Yeah. It's the it bane also of my existence. Okay, I have to go. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Sorry, everybody. You're good. Oh, look at that huge oh, wow. stopped crinoid. <gasps> that is oh, can we get a look at that? Wow. Oh, I know we don't have a lot of pennies in the piggy yeah, bank, but I that know. is just Pretty too good. Okay, partial zoom. Can we use our credit card? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is gorgeous. Yeah. I have uh, not seen that color. No, that is vibrant. Okay, zoom a little more. Can you believe we are on the seafloor with that color? Oh, my color? goodness. Sorry. Does anybody have the Grafana? What's our depth right now? Uh, we are, are depth, oh, could you pull just up the right. around it? Off. Could you pull up and if you can, oh, yeah, uh, of course. Yeah, right. Thanks. Come wide, please. Meters. I gotta go. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, um, 1626. Yeah. 
Yeah, all of the rendering issues over here are suddenly go, gone. Go, go. Really? Same here. What were they thanks doing for with that? Terrible right zoom. Zoom. So. Well, thanks for catching what you could there. That was really. <laughs> yeah, yeah thanks. thanks for that. That was awesome. No problem. Tell Dwight no more quad on that monitor. Yeah, no more quad. Also, why you need the quad? You got the quad really big up there. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing back here? It's not a problem. I'm just curious. But why is uh, the lighting like this right now? I have the porch on. Okay, gotcha. Oh, uh, it's because the camera's a little up too. Oh, here. that too. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. That looks oh, good. Oh, there's the camera. Nice. Val, why are they so round? Uh, the rocks, I mean. Nice. Spheroidal weathering would be my guess, or spheroidal fracturing. Because I'm seeing some stuff that looks uh, kind of like our usual angular, wedgy kind of uh, pillow wedgy. basalts, but I'm also yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for catching that. <laughs> Sorry, continue. No, that was that was excellent. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it just looks like a spheroidal kind of kind of fracturing. So um, it's it's probably related to uh, how the basalt flows cooled, or maybe even some pillow heads uh, from some kind of smaller pillow toes that have uh, uh, broken off. Hmm. So yeah, this this is definitely some uh, pillow basalt flows that we are uh, moving up across, moving up over. Words. The strike is quite striking. I think we have one more it intro, is. right? Or did you already We're do We're going to see some really cool volcanic morphology on this steep slope. It's a little slope. bit more nice. of that green stuff. We just passed it. Hey, um, Kylie, do you want me to zoom in a little bit to get no. uh, rid of the... Oh, Raj. Uh, oh, this is going to be I can, yes. I, can, I can move you a little right because we've been drifting to the left on the pan and tilt. Oh, really? Okay, Raj. Yeah, that's cool. Let me to, I'll do one little bump right, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. O2 right concentration on. is really low here. Do we want to do a sample for both? I mean, I, we can. I kind of want to. Yeah. yeah, if we see something. Should we stop the ship moving? this is Nav. Hold position, please. Are there, I feel like there, we could find some Botrial little stuff in here. No? Uh, I think so. We've been seeing that yeah. for a well, Look on the left, time. that kind of like that. I mean, there it's attached, but I feel like that's yeah. Thank you, Bridge. I'm just going to get ahead so yeah, we can sure. do possible sampling and stuff. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah sound, we're sounds at, uh, like there's an interest in that. Right around 33 micromoles per liter, which on the is the left there? pretty sudden drop off. Anybody? Yeah, maybe on that left side. So, what type of sample does Beth want? A botryoidal texture mm -hmm. and um, an eskin. Yes. And an eskin after, yeah. Raj, that well, should be good there. Huh, okay. Too late. <laughs> Raj. Yeah. Let's, okay. Let's let them catch up a bit, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll, we'll start hunting into it. Yeah. And just watch that okay <clears throat> what do you see that you like is that just the light hitting it weird do you like anything uh, i am looking oh, is. honestly you see the big rock a little to the left of that okay. um like under the coral no like like in center big rock and down to the yeah. left <laughs> and then down until the left of that oh, down right. to oh the one under the, the, one with the biofilm mm. Mm. no like above that uh. Leila, can you tell us straight? This no, one? I wish I could. Yes, that one. Ah, yeah. Let's Maybe? take a closer look at that one. Okay. Let um, me come down a little. Yeah, because we've got sort of those, like, as far as I can tell, they're like a couple centimeter radius botryoidal features that have been showing up on a lot of these rocks. Yeah. And this, this wall okay. is probably no Video exception. Uh, no, I guess it's a little, it's more, a little angular. more angular than I thought. Yeah, but some though. of these actually yeah, like look at them alive. Yeah, yeah, that one. That might be a good one. Which one? Uh, this one right here. Just yeah, that the that far fish. left screen. Yeah. That one looks quite large. Guys. Attached to that, oh, that's bigger. What about uh, what about up uh, to the left there on the Atalanta view back row? I mean, there looks like uh, there's some bouldery bits over there. On Atalanta view. Up into the left. Yeah, there's like there's like a. Some things above Herc's brow bar now that looks kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to come up on the delta here Roger. a bit. Roger. There's lots of options. Do you need... Mm, yeah, Raj, never mind. I don't actually know what the oxygen minimum looks like, but clearly we're in it. Right so yeah, in the last 30 minutes, we've had a big drop off. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's slowly climbing again, so... Yeah, this would be Probably. a good place to grab. I'm glad, I'm glad I remember to check that. 
So anywhere you said it's starting to climb again, so. What about here? Yeah. Yeah, Get just very slightly. Um, all right. So I think we have uh, some pennies in the bank as far as O2. <laughs> <laughs> Oxygenated pennies. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, they are. Huh. You oxygenate them, uh, oxygenate them enough, they turn green. Yep. I was <laughs> trying to get there in a clever way, and I couldn't. Um, you these should we there. zoom in and look around? Yeah, can we try and see the texture better? Good yeah, idea. sure. Um, go ahead and zoom. OK, can you? Oh, that all looks kind of botryoidal. Yeah. On the center left. Yeah, um, so that that's a little big. Can you just come out a little like bit, up, please? Like up and left? That's good. There's maybe a candidate if it's not attached. OK. Is that big enough? And this is also so. bumpy here. Look at the whole sheet is bumpy. There's something but there. That oh, and you see the to. one that they're, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one you telestrated just now actually looks pretty good. That one? Yeah. yeah. Is, is that something we might be able to grab under that coral? Uh, sorry, can you telestrate one more time? Sure. This little the long one? Yeah. Yeah, we, we can give it a poke. OK, um, sounds good. All right, we got the crap power on. And turned off the bender. I need to do my introduction. Do you mind if I full rack oh, back yeah. there, Kylie, for you? Can't forget our uh, SCF. Okay. My name is Christopher. I'm a science teacher from New Hampshire. And uh, my favorite aquatic-related movie, I don't know if this really counts, but uh, there was a movie back in the 80s, I think, called The Linguini Incident with oh. Roxana Arquette. That used to be my favorite movie, and I haven't watched it in like 30 years. So it oh, might wow. be a terrible movie. <laughs> Probably is a terrible movie because it was. <laughs> but uh, they had this uh, restaurant that had a, a huge aquarium, and they had like live mermaid, like people dressed up as mermaids swimming in the aquarium. Sounds like and, Florida. And there was a... <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. All right. What was there? Um, I think part of the plot was somebody did like a Houdini. Mm. You got to like, push out in there a bit, please. Okay. Put them, locked himself in a, in a bag and sunk himself in the, uh, um, in the tank. Sorry, guys. Uh, what was the rock? Is it in this view frame here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one right that here. That one? Is that a little big? Um... Judging by the uh, lasers, it's about 15 to 20 cm, I think. Yeah. So that's that's that should be uh, doable. Okay. And if that one isn't uh, gettable, I see a couple of alternatives. Stay that, positive. Yeah. Oh, it's loose. Oh. Nice spot. <laughs> hmm. Get you a better grip on this guy, don't we? All right, we're seeing some of that uh, that reddish material. Um, yeah. Yeah. So these uh, that's uh, some heavily altered rock. So that's that's a good sign. Hey. This is finesse work. Mm -hmm. All right, we are going to do something different. We're going to do this way now. Thank you, Kylie. It's actually bigger than we expected, I think. Yeah. yeah it might be. Um, should we try for another one? Want me to pull it out? Or? It looks like she's close. Yeah, let's, so uh, let's get a gauge on it. Uh, Looks like it's pretty. Yeah, I got two of them. Okay. Well Might done. Get a two for. A I got a two for. You guys want only a one for though, yeah? Two for's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Edge. I like the perspective. <laughs> Did I get a three for? No, it's just two a weird for. rock. <laughs> Go ahead and push on in there, bit please. That looks that looks really good. Sweet. Says the geologist. Oh, it does look like a three fur, but it is two fur. Nice. Uh -huh. 
Okay, which uh, bio box? It is going to go in forward omega. Forward omega, roger. Roger I'll that. Um, Pull wide, please. Can I come, come out, ready to come out? What's that? I'm gonna, is there any, there's nothing floating in this box, right? Just rocks. No, just rocks. Oh, big rock. Oh, that is a big rock. Yeah. Yeah, so we got this one at about 34 micromole per liter oxygen. So oh, yeah. uh, it'll be interesting to see what uh, what does and doesn't differ with these samples. All right. this way. Huh. Oh, I was about to say, it was like stuck in my finger. <laughs> no, that was cool. You did great. And nice that work. Thank is you. 097. Coming in. And we want a Niskin, correct? Correct. Yes, please. Coach, right, coming in. Do you want us to be off the uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, Reg. Right. I love that. Um, and it'll be five. Number five, Reg. Looks like. That's okay. Orange, is that correct? Here, no, I think, uh, maybe. We'll see in a second. One, two, three, four. I think it's green. Where's the one at the bottom? One, two, three, four, five. I can only see five. Oh, green is really tucked. I can see the green one, but is there an also iris a, a white there, one? Please? Thank you. Yeah, there is a white one. But I don't see the white one. Oh, the white there. one's behind there. Mongo, behind the Magnum. Oh, Raj. I, see the, I can see the crimp for it. I got eyes on it. Oop. Swing and a miss. Beautiful. Nicely done. Closed. Very nice. Excellent. So we just took a water sample to go along with the rocks that we collected for um, Beth Orcutt, who is our microbiologist on board. Okay. All right. Cool. Very cool. Extendo Patronum. Bender is back on. Roger. Actually, out of Fenzies, I'm going to turn on the craft power and just see what that ground fault's at. Commit. So touchy. Yep. Whatever. You push past the, the nozzle there right for me. Sure thing. Thank you. Okay, coming up. All right. All okay. squared away? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So keep moving? Yes, please. Yes, please. Praise, this is not. Bearing three, four, five, fifty meters. Hey, Suleiman, would you mind if we zoomed out on high packing in there real quick? Just sure. to see what the rest of the dive looks like. Mm, yep. Oh, fun. Waypoint 9 is the last waypoint, correct? That's correct, yep. All right. And what's the distance to waypoint 9? The distance is not far. Uh, it's almost 800 meters. Oh. 700 meters? Okay, 800. Yeah, 700, eight, 800 meters only. Roger. So, yep. And, okay, great. 
And we're pulling the dive on deck by eight. Is that correct there, Val? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So we'll be coming off the bottom by seven or before. Yeah. Because yeah, we're about. climbing up, yeah. Yeah. So I guess we don't have to rush. 6.30, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got time. We have uh, seven hours to cover 700 <laughs> meters. <That's laughs> wow. At this point, we can start hopping islands here. <laughs> Even after how many hours spent making it to waypoint two? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Like actually eight hours, nine hours. <laughs> can you open the iris a bit? Sure. Or, you know what, so because of the steepness of this, what if I turn on port, which will balance at the bottom, and we can we can balance the iris? I think that would help a lot, because the issue I'm having is that oh the yeah. white gets it's blown out. Light when it's up top and dark like down the, bottom, right? Yep, yep, yeah, yeah. So I have porch on now, and that should just maybe close the iris just a little bit, and I think that's good. Perfect. Yeah, that looks yeah. really yeah. balanced. It's significantly more balanced now, thanks. Cool. Yeah, sometimes porch. Sometimes it's not helpful. <laughs> when it, when it's shadowed from underneath, it helps a lot. Just um, functionally, what parts are you looking at when you need it? You know, what what do you need to see? Everything. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's the goal. No, I mean really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because the, the way I've been trying to balance it is to keep it as bright as possible without blowing any part out. Is basically the yeah uh, the conflict. Yeah. Yeah. I I also think. Uh, I sh I have to strain my eyes if it's too dark. Right. Um, but this is this is this looks great. Perfect. So I'm just seeing how many ways we have. Can't tell if it's one or two. I think it's one. Two. One. Two. <laughs> two. <laughs> I can't tell. Two. Because there's two, what fish is that there? two lines. Night, not knots. Night. What are we looking? Oh my gosh. Oh, right over in the there. center there. The fish. I wish, I wish we could look at the fish. It's not the Chonacops, is it? It's no, not color. It's, it was Where? weird. Bottom left, bottom right. Just it just went frame. off. Oh, sorry. I thought you, you wanted see it? something bottom, on the very left. Bottom right. There it is. Oh, Roger. It looks yeah. really, it looks cute. Yeah, there's your it little does. guy. It looks like it needs to be seen. <laughs> it looks <laughs> like it needs to be seen. Wait, hold on. Kind of looking like a chonacops a it little really bit. It really is. It? I think so. I'm surprised I remembered that. Partial zoom. Yeah. Look at how it's. Yeah. It is. Oh my gosh. It is. Nice. Oh my gosh. It's a baby. It's so cute. It's oh so look round. at the little paddle. He's hanging things. on. <laughs> hey buddy. Oh, give us a yawn. <laughs> give us a yawn. Nice. Yeah, that <laughs> highlights up on the website now. Or on oh, yeah? YouTube. That's a good. I haven't checked yet. It's pretty good. Oh, hello. Good morning. <laughs> okay, oh. I'm going to leave Love you it. to your life. Come on. I like him. It. I like it. They are it. pretty neat little guys. We need to make a song for Baby Chana Cops the way Baby Shark went viral. I, I think. know. Do, 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 do. Chonoclops. I like that idea a lot. Chonoclops. Yep. <laughs> Just like uh, Rock Lobster. We could do a deep sea album. <laughs> like Weird Al style covers. Kylie, I'm going to extend the camera. I'm not sure if it, maybe it's not extended out. I, I think it is. There's a cool I did that night. when you, when you um, turned off the craft. Kind of a lavender. But the power's still on the craft. Did you want that? No, I just turned it off. Oh, now. Raj. Um, just seeing if that ground paw is still there. But yeah, I'm, I'm full forward. Okay. Ooh. That is a very angular rock. <laughs> yeah. Pointy. I'd say it's a triangular rock. Yeah, very much <laughs> oh. so. Wow, look at you with that geometry. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> it has a hypotenuse. Ooh. It Could has calculate hypotenuse that with the Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> <laughs> We're pulling out all stops tonight. <laughs> Science. 
Who's got the formula for the Pythagorean theorem in their head? X. It's a squared plus b, b squared, squared equals, equals c, c squared. squared. That's right. You <laughs> passed the math test today. <laughs> <laughs> For all my middle school students watching, you will need to know this when you're an adult so you can make jokes about it on Science Park. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> See, or I occasionally when, when building things at home when you're super crafty. Yeah, I yep. use it for construction all the time. That's true. Yeah. You know what thing always keeps coming around too? What? Is like trig identities. Like mm. how they're all circular and like you end up seeing them later in calculus and stuff and then you end up seeing them like I took a like a basically a pressure housing design class. Oh. And it came up there and I was like, oh Lord. <laughs> I, I don't remember that. But yeah, it was useful. I feel uh, like bas basic trig, like Sokotoa type stuff is actually. Oh, yeah, oh that useful. for sure. Ooh, oh, another guy. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. actually use spherical Maybe. trig more than I expected to, but mm -hmm. it's because we live on a relatively spheric planet. <laughs> it's it not handy. flat? Surprisingly, no. Wow. I Is that know, how your math teacher know. taught you to remember yeah. sine, cosine, tangent, Sokotoa? Sokotoa, yep. That's how I learned too. Yeah, me too. Me too. I did use Sokotoa on a research trip once to calculate like the angle of the um, like the the wire for a bongo net oh, toe, yeah. um, and like the depth. Um, to figure, yeah, I don't know. You're doing math. And uh, <laughs> I was proud of my Sokotoa. That and PEMDAS, it's kind of like oh, universal yep. things that everyone gets taught. I love yeah, it. Yeah. PEMDAS is the source of many social media arguments, I've noticed. Really? People spend too much time on the internet, including um, me. Oh, man. What is, what is the, what is the Controversy. debacle about yeah. PEMDAS? Um, like, people put up these little math equations, just kind of, you know, kind of like simple expression. How good like, are you at PEMDAS? Yeah, and then you have, like, a parenthetical expressions oh. and people argue about you know the arrangement of the the plus sign and the, uh, same. Oh, the order Roger. of operations yeah please this is nav hmm. another uh, move Whoa. seems to do Ooh, slime star is that a slime star Ooh, so it's a big one what are you that was a cool shot in the bubble cam too oh yeah. nice oh, yeah. Very I, bet it's a, I bet it's a good shot in the still cam then because okay, it's look. got that downward angle you know oh yeah uh, but it's like kind of far out you know what i mean uh, can you zoom oh, on, the, on the sextant or nar are you asking me to zoom it the sextant is the housing oh uh, she's asking about the well, sextant you, you know what yeah. i mean i know <laughs> to me they are but i'm also protective of my lab <laughs> they're two for one <laughs> Um, but can you zoom on it, or do, are you just stuck with like the settings that it I'm, has? Oh, I'm just stuck with it. We can't zoom on it now. Oh, there's another green thing up at the top yeah, of the screen. Yeah, we're gonna zoom on that guy. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, it's amazing how passionate sort of. people get about um, doing operations inside of okay, parentheses video, first or not. Zoom. Like, people get upset. Huh. Weird. Right. Come in a little thing. tighter. Weird. Oops. Huh. Not like the same thing, but yeah, that has yeah. topography to it. Topography, <laughs> contours. <laughs> you can contour that. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, Christopher, uh, do we have a lot of folks watching from around the world? Is that um, easily a hand? Yeah, uh, five continents currently. Who who fell out? Uh, South America. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> out of the race. <laughs> who fell out? <laughs> Lost their bracket. But this when is you're tied with the Antarctica, it's just not good. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is only counting folks that are on Nautilus Live, not YouTube. So. Folks are streaming on YouTube. I don't know if we get that data. So there's a chance that South America is behind Antarctica. There, <laughs> there is a chance. There's that possibility. Green stuff. Zoom on the green. There is a lot of those green things around here. Okay, lined up. 
Oh, uh, sort of green. What are they that doing here? That looks kind of similar color anyways. To us too. That looks like a dead something else. Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Okay. I don't know. I legit don't know. Come wide. It is mad Batriotal up in here. It mad is. Yeah, it's, it's been like that for a good chunk of the dive. Just super well formed. It's like this really dense manganese steep, crust. Just keep steeping. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna keep steeping for a little longer, and then it'll be. When does it uh, start summiting? <laughs> <laughs> um, somewhere above waypoint seven. <laughs> Whoa, really? Yeah. Holy we're, we're, uh, grandma tree. Where? Um, how far is that? Which one? So how far is waypoint seven from this is from where the vehicles are now? Some cool lava, right? Like here. how many more steps? It's about hundred and thirty meters. So like two and a half more steps. Yep. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Approximately. There's a remainder. It's fine. <laughs> so you can see one, two, three, control. <laughs> 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 subtle clap back. <laughs> I didn't know how to count those contours. <laughs> I don't map. I don't. I don't map. I don't know. I don't, just. I don't even know what the colors mean, really. I don't know. What I mean, if, if we're going to a gully or if we're going to a summit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's always a surprise. So it's the person who remembers a lot more about trig than I have than I do at this point. <laughs> I wish somebody would explain the high pack screen to me. Don't everyone come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, keep on wishing. One <laughs> <laughs> <Good> day, someone. One <laughs> <laughs> <What> day. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, okay. we're we'll starting early safe. tonight. <laughs> 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 Maybe tomorrow we'll look at it when there's no pressure. <laughs> In this case, uh, since the contours aren't uh, marked with uh, 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 depth, um, the warmer colors that we're seeing uh, are indicating a, a greater elevation, I suppose, benthic elevation. Yeah. So, yeah, um, as, as the colors warm in high pack, uh, that means that we're moving up. And then they'll uh, uh, turn to cooler if we were to go back down. but. Going back down is a lot less exciting with an ROV. You don't see as much, unless you kind of back your way down it. That's the way, yeah, back yeah. down. And are these 10 or 50 meter contours? 10, right? I believe they're 10. 10, yeah. We're going away point seven. Yes, we are. Probably 120 meters away now. <laughs> Whoa, that one just gave me nausea. I got yep. weird movement. I couldn't tell if I would. Oh, wow. No. Is it the ship? Is it me down there? That was strange. Don't focus on any one rock at a time. Noted. It's kind of like when you're sitting in your car and the person next to you starts going in reverse. You're like, oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. That happens every time we pull out uh, of the of the shipping of our dock. I'm like, wait, are we moving? Oh, yeah. Especially yeah. when the fuel ship docks next to us. I'm yeah. like, are, are you moving? Are we moving? What's going on? What's going Sometimes on? I get a little bit of that when we pull wide. Um, mm -hmm. Oh my god, you would, it would make you so sick to look at some of the pictures that I take. The, the one like just as you're pulling wide. <laughs> I, I like if I take a grab, it looks like like Star Wars. Like, <laughs> oh, you, get warp, you get warp on, warp the, on the speed rim. on the sides. <laughs> Does it ever go plaid? Oh no, never not. <laughs> That Chana Cops is hitting warp speed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going into another dimension. <laughs> Ludicrous speed. Are they still broken pillows? That movie. <laughs> oh, absolutely, yes. <laughs> absolutely, yes, still broken pillows? Or, oh, or no, talking we're talking about, about uh, okay. space balls. <laughs> 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 Look at that erotogorgia. Yeah, that is a wow. beautiful erotogorgia. So what would we consider ludicrous speed for Herc? 
Ludicrous? Uh, Point one, three, not. Yep. <laughs> not. Gotcha. <laughs> Ludicrous. When we, to when we tow her, how fast do are we usually moving then? Uh, we can tow like a knot or so. That's mm. all right, because they're just getting that is like big pulled one. pretty much at that point if we so go back to back. We did on a couple of recover, at least one recovery last. What are you? Oh, what's oh. that? That one with the big head, remember? The yeah, boy. With a C. Oh. Something with a C. I'm not going to remember um, it. No. I'm useless at having those. I gotta go. Sorry. Up. It's that much darker one, too, huh? I remember the, the other dark ones we saw. The big dark ones? Moridae Mor and Tamore. Would you like to go north from here instead of seeking towards waypoint seven exactly like in the same area or would you like to go straight to waypoint seven uh let's go north yeah north would be good okay zero 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 raj i have a question for our pilots um, yes. is the argus pilot eventually going to become the hercules pilot not if is I can that, help it. Is that how it... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What'd you say? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I don't know. Is there I don't a, know. a progression or... I don't actually don't know the answer okay. to that. Praise, this is nav? The answer is yes. <laughs> Does it have to be? <laughs> It doesn't have to be. Uh, can we go zero 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 yeah. fifty meters? But usually yes. <laughs> no. I think I just want to be a seasoned Argus pilot <laughs> with like opportunities to do this, but I don't. I don't. No. I you like do. the Argus job. I like being able to do Hercules, but we do the same things on deck. You know, like there, are, like. Sometimes driving Hercules makes me seasick. Like, I, I, I like being supportive to the Herc pilot um, mm. and, and bringing up those things that, like, because they're focused on, on, on piloting, like, they are maybe not attuned to or something. But when I am in the Herc seat, I can't focus on anything except for this. And I f feel like my other skills are suffering. <laughs> you do great in both roles, Kylie. Oh, thanks. Mm. You are. So beautiful. Yeah. I want to learn how to do the crane, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to do the crane. I want to do the winch. I want all the back deck jobs. Mark's job. Even Mark's job? What? Mark's job, even? Yeah. Oh, Mark's job. Uh, no, I don't want his job. I just want... <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be trusted in all the roles where I could step in if needed. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's always good having enthusiastic support folks, too. I get it. I want to be like a Swiss Army knife of, I don't know, technicians or whatever. Swiss Army knife, Kylie. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to our favorite aquatic movies, uh, somebody had asked what we thought about The Shape of Water. Oh, I love oh, that movie. A, that's a good oh, one. so good. What's it about? Uh, oh, we should just watch it. I don't want to spoil it. Is it, it scary? It's kind of no, looks no, it's scary. Good. Yeah, no, it's, it's a strange, strange movie. There's I like kind strange. Of a, strange is okay. An outer worldly life form in it. It's very interesting. Isn't it like a love story with a salamander man? <laughs> Something it, like pretty that. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh! oh. 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 I almost no, just choked on my peanuts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, Please don't do that. <laughs> okay. Wow. I didn't think it was ever as open. Quite oh, yeah. oh, stop the yeah. shit. Yeah, can we hold here for a few? Yeah. D do you guys want to? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. we can look at him without stopping the ship, stop? I think. How long? Well, yeah. he's not moving. 
Oh, he's so beautiful. Charlie has some, some time in her yeah. as long as we have some zoom, good zoom potential. Can't believe we okay. get to see an octopus. Wow, this is incredible. What kind of octopus? I'm trying to figure that out. Speaking of, I've I think this is only my second octopus I've ever seen in five seasons. Really? Yeah, on my watch, like on like actually being in the van. Oh. Okay, video zoom. Is it, is it a, an apistotoothid, a grim, grim, grimpo toothus? It kind of looks. Grimpo toothus. Oh my gosh. It's got the grandpa little. toothless. Look at the undulation. Yeah. I yeah, can't tell wow. if it's doing that or if that's the current on its super thin skin. That is incredible. Very cool. Nice shot, Kylie. Thanks. Wow. Wow. So peaceful. I could yeah. stare at this for hours. Oh, yeah. So do you think he's, like, does anybody know about his posture, what that might indicate? No. Chillin'. I feel like he's All making eye contact. NMJCHBU. Can we zoom on that left eye? Yeah, I weird? think that's current. He's just not moving. He's just chilling. Is that all the way zoomed in? No. You can go no. ahead. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Cool texture. Yeah. Oh, man. Just hold that there for me. Nice. Very good job, Brett. Thank you. Thanks. Very cool. Such a steady shot. Yeah. yeah. All right, I guess we just yeah. drop the mic and we're gonna walk, walk away. Wide. That's <laughs> it. Okay, <laughs> we're done. Wide. And let's get going. Wow. Yes. So. Bye, friend. Bye, buddy. Awesome. Cool. Thank you for being here. That was an awesome gift for the mm -hmm. night shift. That was special. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, my, I, the very first thing that I saw about Nautilus was I had to do in my environmental education class an interpretive um, sign, like an educational sign. Yeah. Um, and we could choose what we wanted it to be on, and I chose the Dumbo octopus. And oh. I didn't realize it, but like the imagery I used was from Nautilus. And I oh. listened, I watched one of the videos, one of the highlight videos with everyone narrating in the background. I thought it was the coolest thing. I had no idea what it was. Never thought that I would be one of those people. <laughs> and I remember when I got the internship, I was like, wait, you mean Ooh. I get to be one of the oh. people on the headset? <laughs> You're you full, full circle now. Yeah. That really famous uh, highlight video where everybody's just like super excited yeah. about the octopus. That one is so famous. Yeah, oh, I think that's the one that um, Melissa, the SCF, she goes, I love me a good cephalopod right at the beginning of the clip. <laughs> 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 that, was, that, that was my internship year. <sighs> that was like Channel Islands. Leela, I'm really excited for you. Thanks. <laughs> that was what a really a moment. great moment. It all comes around. Oh, hey, another green thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Center screen. Oh, that's just you dirt. Can't, that's, that's you can't old. oh, hey me after that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have something good. I think that might be an old connection point. You know what's cool? The one octopus? Two, two octopuses. Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> is it octopuses now? I don't think it's octopuses. Okay, it all right. Christopher yeah. knows. That he was waiting for one of us to go wrong. <laughs> Uh, do we have a species ID on that octopus that we saw? I think it was an Apistotuthidae grimpatuthus. <laughs> the name. It just <laughs> looks so much like the ID image. Oh, sure enough. Carly, I'm going to take your bubble. Sure. I love how well, many you want to look at all these to see too. little crevices. Like, what's. Is that just a rock under there? Use partial zoom for me. I think it's just a rock. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Wait, is that a, what is that shiny part? Yeah, what is that? P pillow lava? Are Wait, which shiny part? Zoom in it. You're looking at that, right? Yeah, it looks like, uh, no, to the left of that. 
Sorry, it's just a shiny rock, but it was really reflective and like so, so, um, it looked like a fish, weird not for nothing. Can you come on? Right? Uh, okay. It looked like a fish body, but like shiny and missing a tail. Uh, I see. I can't wait till we see our second octopus on this watch. <laughs> We're spoiled already. Just wait till Megan sees the octopus. Yeah. That was an okay. epic highlight right there. What depth were we at there? About 15, 50 meters? Uh, Almost, yep. yes. Roger. Roger. Oh yeah, I always forget there's a depth range indication on those, on the pictures. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. See, that's, that's that green patch right there. Video zoom, right? That. Oh, yeah, right. Do you remember, Justin, what the black depth indicates? Well, that's that, the deepest. Uh, it's but the deepest. I can't I remember. I don't remember what the range is. Yeah. Come wide. Um. Great job on that um, zooming, Rhett. Thanks. You really helped me with the flying. <laughs> that's good. No, it's a thing, you know, yeah, yeah. like fully. So, uh now we are almost there in the same area. Would you like to proceed along this way to a point eight, or you would like to go around the edges? Um, let's yeah, let's do option two where we uh, hug the side of the ridge a little bit. Okay. Uh, Leela's very happy with that decision. <laughs> as long as there's octopus there. I know. As long as there's that. That would be really cool to see another one. That's all we really want. I'm looking for all like the sediment patches now. I know. <laughs> You're going to start seeing right. them everywhere. Where are you? Chana Cops is forgotten. Chana Cops. <laughs> no, <laughs> I still <laughs> love you, Chana Cops. <laughs> <laughs> Chana <Chana-ba>. what? <laughs> Chana, <laughs> Chana who? <laughs> New Chana, who this? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something that doesn't have the right number of limbs. <laughs> <laughs> it's eight. So you know, I was just sitting out like social deck earlier and I was like I I know that there are whales in the water but yeah. I never see them <laughs> 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 never ever they never just uh. they're, they're, but they're there right you just have to be content knowing they exist whether or not you get to see them go see them one day when you're in their migration pathway and there are you lots would. and lots of them this is so it's the same idea as the octopus right you're like even if I don't get to see them it is cool knowing they're here and we just got the reminder that like yeah you know it's not a fallacy like they're really here i have thought yeah. about that the when we're transiting zero four five zero four five roger. roger when we're transiting i thought if you're about already, like i will make the move how many cool so things. if you have yeah. a look at the high back i will zoom out we'll be moving around this edge okay that looks good okay yes Roger. Zero four five. Bridge, this is Nav. Next move on bearing zero four five fifty meters. Affirmative. Oh, and then and then and Video zoom. He's got a coral buddy. Little buddy. Oh, it's a polychaete, right? Some kind of a worm. I missed it. I'm sorry. Oh, that was, I, that's all right. Yeah, I didn't get a good look. I see what you're talking about, though. He just kind of came out of nowhere. I know. Getting this <laughs> beautiful pillow of basalt falling here. <laughs> Big old stack of lavas. Big old be in the industry term. <laughs> yep. Right Probably got yes. Yes, 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 yes. Ten more minutes. For us. Lodge. So oh, Lila, I love your that. fan club is watching from Austria. Oh my gosh. Hi, fan club. I bet they are rooting for you. Wow. <laughs> Did you see the octopus, though? <laughs> I need to text them. So just a reminder, we are uh, diving on the Mercury Seamount.
in Papahanao Mokua Kea Marine National Monument, and we're kind of we're uh, in the Lilukalani.